I right? feel like kids are just jumping <laughs> at my body, right? like, nigga, get me out this nigga's you're nutsack just, or something. Right? You know what I mean? A few episodes. Not really. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yo, let me ask you. Yeah, I don't know. Well, I don't have cable, bro. Like, I have cable when you make it. Come on, man. I'm gonna get sad. I mean, I ain't watched it as a kid either. So you don't watch Netflix or Hulu or anything like that? Now? Yeah. YouTube, this is Netflix sucks. Netflix does good. I nah, I just watched some fire on Netflix. Uh, they they got me back. The documentaries are good. They have one fire every like month. Well, I they watched have, like, the Cat Williams item. special. How was that? Mid. Mid. You know what I watched? That was not mid. Uh, Chip and Dale new uh, Chip and Dale new movie on Disney Plus. Can, can you actually bring up that trailer? Chip and Dale on Chip Disney and, Plus. No, 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 Chip and Dale. Do you guys know the characters Chip I and know Dale? What Chip and yeah, Dale it looks is. awful. It does. Well, well, by bad. the way. I was sitting there watching it with someone, and we were losing our minds about how good it was. Didn't they just take out the, the, the chipmunk shit and just put Chip and Dale? That's what it is? Nah, dude. They're their own thing. I think they were before Alvin. Were they before Alvin? Yo, I when know. I think of Alvin Chip been and Dale's, around forever. I think Not of Chip male, and Dale's. I think of male strippers. Male strippers? Yeah. That means you're gay. No, you know you don't know what Chip and Dale's is? Yeah. You don't know about his 22%? I don't. I'm also 13% gay at all times. Oh, it's not 13 now. 13%, 13 gay at all times? 22% is when um, I want to see what it is. He took a 23 and me? That's what it was? Like, that's no, what no, happened? no. Chip and Dale's? <laughs> 23 and me. <laughs> what? what? He said he, said <laughs> he did 13. a 23 and me and found yeah. out he is 17% yeah, right? gay. Yeah, like, oh, right. The, the rest oh. of y'all, get out, get out, get out. Like, what's wrong with you? Well, you don't think you're a little bit gay, Lawrence? No. Not even a little bit. No, I don't. I don't think you don't think you're a little flamboyant. No, flamboyant gay are two different things. No, 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 no. Just because I wear a pink shirt does not make me suck dick. I like that. That's no, a pink not. shirt to him. <laughs> <laughs> it, the words are pink. He goes, "This is a whole pink shirt." Lawrence also thinks salads aren't salads unless they have chicken. He thinks avocado on a burrito so is a salad. I mean, <laughs> why would you eat a salad without chicken? I, I mean, listen, I'm not arguing with the oh, logic. Oh, I heard about this. I had yeah. a salad at the stand that you were judging. I think maybe I judge everybody. Who that cares? is also true. You, he uh, apparently had a, a salad at the stand. Kevin said, oh, you walked by and, uh, and it didn't have chicken on it. Oh, that's like, crazy. That's crazy. What the fuck eat, is that? He's eating the old vegetable sa salad. Can Why? I actually uh, ex explain that for a second? The the Caesar salad I would get from the stand is yeah. delicious. It's yeah. the one of the best Caesar. No, the stand makes good food. They wouldn't put chicken on it, I asked. That's the problem. And what? then recently they started doing it, and I'm like, what? I had this weird push and pull with this, the yeah. stand's restaurant because it's so good, but there's times like I walk in there banging like wings. No, they have good shit. Yeah. Banging wings. Pieces fine. Next week I go, with the wings. With the wings. Mm -hmm. Don't exist. They don't anymore. exist. And you, don't you know exist. The, you know uh, really? that was, yeah, that was yeah, a customizable item. That was just yeah. That's all have, have, every time has anyone ever looked at you with like confusion of like you I'm almost black. feel like I'm, I'm black, sir. Okay, so you know this feeling um, <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> of like confusion of like you almost make, again it makes me feel like I'm, I'm gonna say it again it makes me feel like I'm the asshole. Mm -hmm. but I was like I was like hey, I get those chicken wings and they looked at me and were like. It was it was like a Twilight Zone. I will say this: they're so, like chicken wings. Dylan, <laughs> we haven't had those in twenty five years. Yeah, that's but that's Dylan, crazy. you know what though? Every time Dylan goes, people look at me like I'm the asshole. I was like, yeah, man, because you just ran around the whole restaurant looking for chicken, saying where the chicken wings at, looking underneath the bar and shit. You know how many people have died behind the kitchen? You know how many people have died over chicken wings. <laughs> There's a lot of people <laughs> yeah, have died how many over people chicken. Have died over chicken wings. I've seen a lot of nah, articles. Get on it. I've seen a lot of articles. Oh, wait, people do you have us? You've seen wings. a lot of. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, Dylan, he just said. I've seen, I've seen a, a lot of articles. Where well, people have of died people over chicken. Who died over chicken the wings. last one I've seen, two brothers killed each other over, la wings? over the last chicken wing. You know, I've seen two brothers uh <laughs> like go on a full brawl, cops coming through and everything over a white tee. Yeah. We're brothers. We're gonna fight regardless. But yeah. this, way, I like this you, is the reason. That was so third person that you were like, I've seen brothers. They were your brothers, right? No, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. I've seen my brothers try to kill each other once. I mean, we all brothers, really, at the end of the day. Aww. Yeah, not you, Dylan. Come on, come on. That pink shirt energy's <laughs> getting to him. The pink light, pink, bro. The pink graphics. Just be real, Spe bro. You're speaking 13, of the graphics, right? Shout, yeah. Shout out to the new graphics. Yo, uh, do we even introduce this guy? Oh, really uh, we're, we're going to, but I also just want to point out something. I don't know if you guys noticed. Um, we didn't introduce anything yet. We've just been chilling, having fun. We got yeah, we got high. It's a little bit of a chill. Every time you listen to a podcast, there's a podcast before the podcast. Mm -hmm. really There's a little bit of a podcast. Yeah. We, went, podcast. we went full white girl. Guys, this is Doped Up and Dying. Serial okay. killers. Doped Up and Dying. The, the Sunday, Sunday Morning, morning Smoke Show. show. Okay. We got new graphics. We got Natty Ice on the keys. Natty Ice, show him, show him your t-shirt that you wore specifically for today and you totally didn't make a mistake. Tie-dye? Nice. I know what to expect. If, look, I know what my schedule is. Vibe. He's wearing tie-dye? Pink tie-dye. That's, 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 that's for any day of the week <laughs> right there. No, yeah, but I mean, the graphics. Okay. Okay. What happened? I'm Dylan Negri. Wow. What <laughs> the fuck was that? All right. <laughs> that was a weird pause. Yeah. I, I just wanted to give it a pause. Sometimes you get, Kevin, 
Don't tell me about letting shit breathe. You gotta let it breathe. Don't tell me about letting shit breathe. You gotta let it breathe. Guys, I'm sorry. What's that freestyle with Jay? I was about to think of Fabulous Let It Breathe. One, two, three. That was with Jay. That's that's with Fab, though. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Yeah, you don't know hip hop. Lyrical exercise. That's what I was thinking of. Mm -hmm. I know that one. Guys, I'm your host, Dylan J. Negri. Sitting next to me is your other host, Kevin Sanchez. It's and of course, Bundito. the week where we update the graphics and add his name. Go to the two shot real quick. Look at his name, Dylan Negri, Kevin Sanchez, DC Williams. Where is DC Williams? He's fucking late because he's he, he, told me, he told me he. he yeah, we'll talk about it when he gets here. Mm-hmm. Uh, we'll talk. No, I want to I wanna talk about it to his fucking face. He lied to me. He li- My friend lied to me. Well, today. What did he lie to? What did he say? I mean, friends, friends always fucking lie lies. to each other. You lie to your friends? Sometimes. I never lie to my friends. Yo, where you at? I'm not there. <laughs> <laughs> not Lord, there you, are a, you are a loose invite person. What you mean? Oh, wait. And guys, give it a fair guess. Lawrence DeRoach. Right? Is that how you say it? The Roach, nigga. That's not my last name, wow, nigga. Wow, bro. Oh, you know, Lawrence sh- might step over this table and fuck you up, bro. That's you better chill, crazy. son. What is your last name? I really don't know your last name. Reese. R-E-E-S-E. That's a hell of a way to introduce me. Lawrence not, is one of those Reese's. guys, he has the energy of a, of a dude who just say one name, like Kobe. Mm. That's a wild, that, that's, that, but that you is, have that no, vibe. But that's not wild, you're allowed to say that. You're allowed to throw yeah, okay. It's okay to bring me up with my first name, but hopefully you know my whole name. Do you? But Would you want to be a first name person? I don't give a fuck, just call me my whole name. By your whole name? Yeah. Because I had someone do that to me one time, I think it was uh, Alex Starr, he brought me up at Broadway Comedy Club. And that's he a wild guy. He couldn't, wild, wild. He's dude. never sober. Wild dude. Mm-hmm. By I want to bring him on the pod. I we can't go find him, but it's I'm, impossible. I'm, I'm blocked by him now. Really? I missed the show. I missed one show. Is apologized it? and got blocked. Yeah. But uh, Alex Starr was one dude who was like, when, in the beginning, he couldn't say my last name. He couldn't say Negri, and then he just went up there one day. and was like, "Give it up for Dylan." Mm-hmm. And just the way it like just stopped. I was like, "I can." I, Dylan's too short. I think Lawrence is at least like there's two syllables. You can get away with it with one name. Yeah. Uh, so does Dylan. Dylan has two syllables. He don't know how to count, ladies and gentlemen. <coughs> this is the brains behind the operation. Guys. That's, that's, that's a problem. That's why this is going nowhere. It's not a good thing. It's not a good thing at all. I like, but um, can, can I can I can I show you guys the amazing movie that even Natalie, who's my age and my year, I thought would show some respect. I thought oh, I, I know who they are. No, I, I thought I thought you would. The trailer looked bad. How dare play that fucking trailer? Right. How dare you? This trailer's amazing. Also, shout out first the thing that pops into your head when I say Chip and Dale. What's your first thing? Wait, pause, 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 pause. This, that's what pops in my head. This is on Disney, dude. Dude, it gets better. Go play it. This is crazy. It gets. But that's certainly crazy. the second would be those it's rascally too much cartoon chipmunks. Chip and Dale. Rascally. It's no <laughs> secret I had the CGI surgery. What's been it up with like you? It you know, looks just like the chipmunks. A little bit. But look, one of them is. One of them isn't. This conversation. Cool. I mean, they've been doing that forever, though. See what we can no, find when you see this? Yeah, they used to do that shit back in the day. That's all we're gonna do. So you're saying the rescue rangers are back? Yes. Yes. John Mulaney is. Yes. Dale. Or Chip. That's a wild song. <laughs> I mean, they started off with Peter, the male niggas. Peter Pan is old and trying to kill everyone. That's Seth Rogen. What are you looking at? Honestly, look. your weird dead eyes. <laughs> yeah, they had person. all the Seth Rogen so, characters no. together. Only amazing. one person has that left. This is awesome. Honestly, to get paid a million dollars to just do this voiceover, how dope. great is that? Sometimes you just get lucky on a position. The, the bitch that does the, like, what is it, the guy cold commercial or the flow? Flow? Oh, yeah. She's paid forever. A million years. She's paid forever. 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 For life. She's good. Thanks. You owe me a non-brand specific She can't do nothing, though. What? You think? I don't want to. Can you? Somebody call Fine. Fine. Cut it off. I'm telling you guys are overlooking You think that girl is going to? You think these girls who are getting paid millions of dollars every year, like the AT&T girl, she's also getting paid a million dollars every year. Shout out to them. They're never gonna get in trouble. Then ne- nothing's ever gonna come back to haunt them, what? unless they start doing real drugs and shit. What if they have something that ha- to come back and haunt them? These I can't see it happening. Find it. I can't see it happening. All right, you never seen a I, white person do drugs? That's crazy. Can't see that. Happening. Not them. They got. They were getting paid a million dollars. I don't know. Then you. Uh, I never thought Jared Fogle would get caught either. Nobody See, even you, knew who yeah, he was. What are you talk- that's like that's like the, <laughs> the epitome of our like society right now. It's just people we would never thought. Bill Cosby. It's like the epitome of like we never thought that could happen. Nah, nah, I mean that's way too that's before. Right. My bad. Nah, I keep moving around. And yeah, shit. he just said some random fact. <laughs> I'm about to say even, facts. I'm just talking fact. shit. Yeah. Can, can I, I just bring it back to what actually was the point of the topic and discussion that really fucking matters at hand right now? I Guys, this last week has been insane. 
Chip and Dale came out and no one's fucking talking about it. They also put out a, a, a scary movie with Winnie the Pooh. They said, they said that's in the world. Oh, work. I saw that. I, see, dude, movies are getting good again. Who the, the fuck knew Winnie the Pooh was a, was a, a murderer? Who the fuck but, but Then but, again, he did wear no pants, so it's probably. Also, handsome. the Lightyear, the Buzz Lightyear movie? <laughs> yeah, the new Buzz true. Lightyear movie. That's going to be fire. You guys watch I mean, I'm not, I'm not watching any movie? of these movies, bro. Me neither. Why? I don't watch movies like that. I don't care. You don't go to the movie theater? Uh, I've been there a few recently, but that, <laughs> last thing I saw was Spider Man. But the new one? Yeah. Okay. You what talk, do you do, bro? Huh? What do you do? Yeah, what is your free time? What do you mean free time? What do you do, <laughs> I mean, bro? Chilling, though. This yeah, guy's yeah. like, yo, I don't watch movies. I don't got a heart. That is a I don't like nobody. Yo, what do you I didn't do, say Lawrence? I have a heart. You just I know, made that I know, up. I'm kidding. I'm fucking it's around with you, like buddy. That. Wait, 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 wait. Can you get the, the, the Grinch music every time Lawrence talks for like when he starts explaining like how his day is? Like It's almost like just, I want to hear in the background. Just do, can you give me some do, better music do, than that? He just he just upsets people all day. He robs people's holidays. He robs people's holidays. Yo, I can see you robbing people holidays. I mean, at one time, I I probably was, but who knows? I'm a, I'm a, allegedly, the- allegedly. <laughs> That's the music. <laughs> That's Jim Carrey. Oh, play that song again. Um, that was the trailer for Trippendale. That was my. Oh, wow. Play that. We can play. We'll play can we play some Fifty Cent or something? Like, can we do something that y'all got? We no, can't do that. give we me some hip hop or something. We can't. We can't. We, we, just it was hip hop in the beginning. It was Snoop Dogg. Oh, that's it. That's all we could do. It's all right. royalty. What? You, stop trying to dodge the question. So, what, like, what's like a, a normal? What, like, if you know, know those vlogs, like day in my life. No. I mean, you talking about yours or just like in general? No, no, no. Do you, do you know like what a day in a life vlog is? <laughs> yes, I know what a day in life vlog is, man. So tell me, ne- ne- give me your day in your life. Like if you were just like, you know, they, it always is video of them, but they're narrating and they're like, I wake up, do the, give me yours. I've That's never, it. I'm not recording my day in life. What's your day in life? Like what's your, what was today? Give me your day in life today. How'd Why? you start? Why you want to know so bad? <laughs> no, you on the podcast, man. Yeah, but I, all right. So you woke up. I woke up, I worked out. What, in between working out, just straight to work out. You woke no, up in your bed. I went, to, I went to the fucking bathroom. Okay, did whatever. Hot dumps or no dumps? Okay, now we get too that's specific. Crazy. <laughs> okay, not that specific. Hot dumps? <laughs> no, not neither one. Of one layer <laughs> less specific, you know, please. You, okay, why? Huh? Okay, <laughs> let me ask you a question. Are you the type of guy to do a hot dump then brush your teeth right after, no. or do you let it air okay, out? Okay, no. Now right we're getting good questions again. That's crazy. It's just a regular dump, fam. Regular dump? All right, yeah. regular, regular you dump. You smoke a cigarette while you take a dump? <laughs> I don't smoke cigarettes. You don't smoke cigarettes? No. He wears the mask, though. <laughs> I will say. He full mask. Oh, <laughs> he full mask. <laughs> he he mask I'm, definitely, I'm definitely getting ready for the day with my ski mask going. Word? That's the yeah. first thing you do. Of Put course. on a ski mask. That's the first thing. I got to clean the ski mask, you know. I'm okay, okay. Clean and make sure it's you do have me. the best ski mask out Collection. There. You have multiple. Yeah, multiple. Have a lot, yeah. a lot of them. Yes. I have a question. I'm not, I'm not saying don't do not incriminate yourself. I will never incriminate myself. Oh, I, obviously, I don't need to tell you that. So, if you were to ever rob, look at me. If you a, were I'm an upstanding citizen, sir. To ever rob, did, did you ever like? Uh, w- would you? Sorry, if, if you were to ever rob, w- w- did you ever? Would you? Sorry, would you ever pick out a ski mask specifically for that? Like, is it like almost like an outfit, like new shoes, like? Like, oh shit, bring these, this one out for this one? Or, or is it like playing basketball? Like, you just, sometimes you gotta wear the Kobe's, right? <laughs> you don't. Or you wear your beaters because you're playing outside. That's crazy. That's crazy. You, do you have a beater ski mask? No. Why would you put something on your ski mask to wear and to hurt people with? That's, that's literally that's showing, a, that's showing your identity. That's showing some, too he much He makes flair. a good point. Yeah. Wait, what was too the point? Flair. I lost that. I got lost So he's that. saying that like you can't, be identified. You want to get away with something? You supposed to look obscure oh, as possible. You, 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 so, yeah. so, so you have like you have like ten just black, <laughs> black ski masks. You got to rob, you need 10 you black rob ski incognito. Masks. He goes, "Why you need ten? But you can get away with one. Just, oh, just good one. one. Huh? Incognito. Just it. one. That's it. Okay, so you wake up, take a hot steamy dump. <laughs> well, yeah, ski the, mask on. Ski crazy. mask on, <laughs> and then you keep the ski mask on. You walk out from taking your hot steamy dump. Um, now, who are you texting first? Who's your first text? Who's of your the first day? text of the day? Probably who's my your mom. first text? Your mom's? Yeah. That's sweet, dude. What did uh, you, you text de- your mom? Yo, what did you text your mom today? Good morning. Good morning. Do you live with God your mom? Bless you? No. Okay. Does she live in the city? Yeah. You grew up but in New York? She, yes. You grew up with your mom, I'm assuming? I grew up with both my parents. Both Thank your you. parents? Oh. I'm saying you're very close to your mom. I'm very close to both my parents. You take, who you do you say, like more? You take your dad. Huh? Who do you like more? Both of them. Both of them? Oh, that's, I don't like I don't. I don't choose one. Why would I choose you one? You have to choose one. I'm better than you. I have both you parents. Know, this, this you are better than me. You're okay. way better than me. I, I have know. none. Well, I have a mother who raised me, but... Mm-hmm. This feels more like an interrogation, and we're tra- and he's like very trained no, for no, this. No, 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 no. We're not interrogating. <laughs> we're having fun on a pod. We're going to need... It no, feels no, like no, interrogation. I'm, doesn't it? Nigga, like, ask me how I do it's my the, morning. I'm, I want, okay, I want... I felt my... 
It felt like, it, hey, we were, we were going a little bit hard there. We're going how, how, how are you going to interrogate me with diet green tea? Can, that's, can, can that's me and my, uh, bro, that's because we, we sweet. Can yeah, me and my, uh, my, uh, my, uh, my co-host, I'll take, just uh, confer for a second. Hey, let me, let me go in with a nice cup. I'll, I'll get him. I can get him to say anything, dude. I can get him anything? Anything, dude. Pretty retarded. What about Actually, the, what about the murder in 96? Don't worry about that. I was born in 96, nigga. I'm talking about your pops. Mm. No, I'm kidding. That's crazy. <laughs> okay, you That's go in me, come. I go in nice come. No, no, no. That's crazy. My nah. dad did nothing wrong. I know. Your free dad is free my angel, pops. Okay, free my pops. Did you text in jail? Yes, nigga. Oh, shit, I didn't mean to laugh at that. Do you also text your dad? Huh? Did you, also you can't text your... Well, you can now. Like, Dude, my, my dad... I feel my dad always wants to be texted and called every week, but every time I do it, he I never right. get the response as if he wants to be texted or called every week. Does that make sense? No. Oh, I, sorry. White people make no sense ever. I saw this joke. Let me tell you something. I was walking outside at, uh, uh, right before I got to the studio, and white girls love appropriating culture no matter what. This Clearly, girl that's, dressed that's like what an Asian man, for. smoking a cigarette while with her food to the side, mm -hmm. just like crouched over behind a car. Wow. There was no need. The worst the worst taco I've ever had in my life. I went to a- It was a white woman. <laughs> a white woman made an infusion taco at an Asian bar. What's, what was it infused with? Where Where, where were you? Uh, it sounds like a, like a South thing. Near Brooklyn, Brooklyn. Museum. Okay. So, That's was it? Thing. Yeah. That was the worst. I shouldn't, I don't really, whenever someone does someone else's culture, it's never good. It's ne almost never. It's never whoa, good. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Unless like you're like an Anthony Bourdain kind of yeah. person who like engulfs their whole Yeah, like you'll movie. never do it better than the original. No, but you can't do it better you than can't. the original. What's something? What were you about to say? You had somebody that does something uh, culture. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying there's definitely something out there, right? There's like who? Even if you even if you're on the terms of food, you know what? Who okay. does okay. Sushi burrito. Wait. That sounds terrible. Say, <clears throat> not just food. We're talking about culture, right? All right. Arguably, Arguably, some white rappers. Name more than one. Better. Name more than one. More than one. Now does Drake count? Does half black, half white rappers count? He's from Canada, nigga. So that counts. He's white. No, he's black. He says nigga on every record. <laughs> you're right. You're right. He you're says right. nigga you know, on every you record. Know, if we say someone, he's just gonna be like, I don't listen to them. No, no, I listen to white rap. Watch, right? uh, Jack Harlow. I know I listen to him. He's just not good. <laughs> you don't think he's good? No. Me neither. He's all right. He's okay. He's listenable. No, he's a TikTok rapper. By the rapper. way, also what some people would say about me. He's, he's, <laughs> yeah. he's a TikTok rapper. He makes songs for TikTok. I will say That's that. the wave, though. Okay. Yeah, there's he's not, there's like, still some people that can do it better. There are people that are doing it. Yeah. They're doing music better. I'll be TikTok. finding new songs all over TikTok. Was that DC? I yeah. guess, wait, I'm going to put a bet right now. I got right $10. There. This podcast gets way louder with DC here. Oh, it's going to get super loud. It's going to get so loud. It's going to get so loud. that loud on the podcast. Let's just, let's just like, talk normally. And let's it's see a loud voice, loud. though. When we did the show, the day pretty loud. <clears throat> DC? Yeah. yeah, he's a loud guy. Loud yeah, guy. I'm very mellow, so I don't be super you loud. You are very mellow. Very mellow. very mellow. You be coming out with some gems, though. It's like, sometimes I just like listening to you, because you'll say some shit. Oh, mm -hmm. man. We're, every time we're at the stand, we have an amazing conversation. I'm a, I'm a very dope guy. Are you sober? No. Oh. No, we smoked before this morning. We just smoked weed. I, I don't count weed as... Um... I, I smoke weed and I drink, yeah. You drink? Yeah. Okay. I just don't get drunk. Back to your daily You routine. can't get drunk anymore. No, I right? get drunk. How old are you? 26. 26? Okay, so yeah. I just that is know my limit. Okay. I learned my limit through trial I and never, error. Oh, yeah, sorry, I've never seen you drunk. You don't have to. I don't want to see people see me like that in public. Me neither. Oh. I don't like that feeling. Nah. Yeah. I mean, guys, come on, help me. Yeah, I feel oh. like it was a weakness. No, 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 no. Oh, oh, DC, uh, go over there, go over there. Oh, you sure? <laughs> yeah, go over there. What's, what's he just walked all the way over and tell Yeah, my bad. Natalie was telling me. What's up, man? What's up, what's up man? man? How you doing, bro? Nice, nice. Your beard, bro? I had to. Why'd you do that, bro? It's gonna grow back in a week. Okay. All right. Do you know how it looks now? Yeah. Okay. Oh <laughs> wow! <laughs> it's coming in hot. Bro. It looks approachable. It's it's coming looks approachable. in hot. You look a lot. You think you look? You, what's up, buddy? Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm late, though. Why are you late? What do you mean by you look more approachable? Uh, what was wrong with the beard? It was getting too much. You think you were not approachable? You thought you were being menacing with nah, a beard? No, I'm not saying menacing. I just look like. More approachable. You, 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 it, it is a little bit more like more clean. Uh, he's, 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 he's an adorable hood nigga. Yeah. Not like, yeah, yes. I feel he's like. an adorable I'm hood bum. <laughs> I'm can have the title like, to this episode. Anyway. Adorable, adorable hood bum. That's perfect. I like it. <laughs> that actually that could be a that's, special. That's, a special. Yeah. that's the name of your yeah, first I special. Call it that. No, no, adorable yeah. hood bum. He didn't like that uh, DC said it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. By the way, I also hate that DC came up with the name of this fuck's podcast. He did. By the way, he came up with the name. Wasn't even a co-host till like three episodes ago. Wow. Now he's been on for a while. Speaking of co. Cut to the two shot. What's up? 
Mm-hmm. We here. We okay, here. Okay, we looking fire. I was gonna mm-hmm. surprise you. Of course, you're, of course, you're mm-hmm. late to the. Oh, look, we've added your name. Look. Oh, did we really? Look. look right. Oh, look at that. Was your name All not right. there before? No, it wasn't. Nah, it wasn't. Yeah. It wasn't. They treat you know. like the '85 South show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? What's up? What did they do in the '85 South? It took forever for them to put the Chico Beans name on that shit. Really? Oh, yeah? Yeah. Chico Beans so fucking. Like, You've been there forever. You've been there forever. Who's Chico Beans? Wow. Is uh, Wallen Out? You never seen Wallen Out? I've seen. I remember if I see his face. You, you know him. Okay. Who's your who's Who's somebody that you fuck with, Florence? Like uh, like in comedy, in comedy. Who's not, your not, not like who's a, your Mount Rushmore? That's easy question. Yeah. Mount who's Rushmore, your, like Mount Rushmore? the OGs or like in our era. Just give me like lo- yours personal. My Mount favorite Rushmore. comics ever. Your personal. What explains? Uh, I mean, number one is Cat Williams. Okay. Word. Yeah. Okay. Number two would be Bernie Mac. Okay. Number Higher. three would be Chappelle. Okay. And number four, I never thought about the fourth. I will probably just throw in somebody. Maybe like a white Mount guy, Rush, Jim man. Carrey, I guess. Oh, Jim Carrey, I forget uh, about him, but yeah, yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Jim Carrey's. A I also uh, uh, on the ride back with Gio and Espy from um, doing that show in Connecticut. We did. I we had same same question. Just with Mount Tom, Rushmore Tom comedy. Talk about all the time. Yeah, just Mount Rushmore. It's yeah, an yeah, easy yeah, question. Just yeah, be like, yeah. what you guys from Mount Rushmore? Just give what's your four rappers. And it te- like yeah, that, it tells yeah. you who they are, kind of mm. a little bit. I don't know if it tells I you brought, who they are, but I think it explains a little bit if that makes sense. Like who who you like because you. As so you like someone, don't mean you, you act like, like them. That doesn't mean that, but it does yeah. mean that you kind of have like when you saw when I first saw comedy, I was like, oh shit, okay, I'm not crazy. Like, uh, Bernie Mac isn't on mine, but it absolutely makes sense that he's on yours. Does that yeah. make sense? But I brought up Jim Carrey. I said Jim Carrey was on mine. Uh-huh. Jim Carrey was on my Mount Rushmore. I just threw in Jim Carrey. And everyone, he's not really on it. And yeah, and everyone in the car was kind of like, what? I just think he he really took over the style he did. Yeah, and I don't I don't There's like no that one, people this, do that. I I, I, I would never like like that in person. His style because no, it's not funny. I, no, it has, it's just, it's just it over. is though, bro. That's it. Here's the thing: niggas sweating on stage, bro. <laughs> most people can't hit a punchline doing physical comedy. He can I'll, do that, bro. Our era don't really give a fuck about. That's the problem. That's why you go to a show and eight. Comics Character. all stand there and do this shit. I'm not saying stand there and be this, like not noticeable. But that's all people do. But a nigga that's running around stage with his tongue out, it, it's not just, saying anything fire. Yeah, yeah. But it's just the funny of him watching him lose control. That's not. Do hilarious. you think? No, we, but like he also because we grew up in an era of rap, we need somebody to say something like fire. No, I think, play. I think uh, it was a whole era of that's comedy a great, that was really that's bad. That's a fire. Wait, so I, I'm sorry to cut. That's a fire take. What you said? We grew up in the era, era of rap. rap, so that's why like we're so, we're such a generation on like built on wordplay. We're like, Yana, give me, give me like, that's why we love Mark Norman. Mean, even Def Comedy Jam was that era. That everybody with the word. Play. Yeah, I, I was I'm, always in the punchlines because of rap. But, yeah. what I'm, but saying, I'm saying more now, even like, you know, like. It would make sense for it not to be like that because most rappers these days don't. I bet you Jim Carrey, I bet you somebody do some Jim Carrey shit now. Murder. Of course. Murder. Because no one else is doing it. No one's doing it. That's what I'm saying is like, you have to think about the guy that can be on stage for 25 minutes doing mad physical comedy while in between his bits. And the guy who's just talking, doing no act outs, no impressions, no nothing. He's, no, I'll give you that. It's not easy to do. It's not easy to do that. But I respect like the wordsmith. Of course. I, 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 trust I respect me. I respect the, respect the nigga that goes yeah, what, 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 There's like there's a there's a word like for you know wordsmith. What's what's like a, what? an act like a, a showman an actor, a showman. showman yeah, a showman. Yeah, 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 he's a showman. Thank put you. his elbow behind his fucking you know, head. No, I mean the art of comedy comes from being a clown. Right. Can you look up um look up a Jim Carrey um cum joke? I know talking about. It's funny because some of his jokes Jim, are fire today. That's what I'm trying to say. It's Jim Carrey. You, you would think in that time he's so family friendly. Mm-hmm. He he is like How is he a very, family friendly. Everything he was on was against family friendly. What do you mean? Fire I mean, Marshal Bell was. He's just very goofy wild. and like the mask, nigga. The mask was. The, yeah, the, you know, was, a lot of his shit was like no. But that's, what, that's what I'm trying to say. It it is. Listen, the mask was never something like. My mom or dad were ever like, no, no, this is not for kids. They were like, no, this, this is not for kids. Is, yeah, that, yeah. That's how good he is, bro. That's how good he is. That's what I'm trying to say. No, I'm not. I never that's said he wasn't Jim good. That's how good You could I watch. I never said he wasn't good. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, buddy. You I, said he wasn't funny. No, I didn't. I literally <laughs> put you, him in my fucking thing. You said his shit wasn't funny. You, you said, said you don't I said, find I said funny. I don't you find, wouldn't it find it funny. He does. Yeah, yeah, funny. Like someone else doing that. Yeah. Oh, style. okay, funny. okay. You say okay. So Jim I don't is like funny. That. I don't like that style. No one outside of Jim could do that style. That's it's only very... there's only two people that does that style. Well, Who's three. Second? Who's second? Off that tree, it'd be Steve. I mean, uh, Steve. Jim Carrey. Steve Carell's off that tree. Martin, bro. Martin was mad. Steve Martin, Martin had wordsmith, dog. Nah, not really. Was, which McCall that died from suicide? Mitch. Oh, 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 oh. Who's talking about? Uh, n- uh, Robin big dude. Robin Williams. Robin Williams. Robin Williams. Oh. Same style. He's a joke thief. But no, 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 no. Same style. No, but what about what about um um uh the big dude, the Adam Sandler's friend, uh Chris Farley. Chris Farley. Nah, he was a worst. Chris Farley was nah, running nah, around. Nah, nah, nah. He had, nah, he had, he had some some Chevy Chase about. might have been the worst. Yeah, but he had some shit to talk about. 
I will say this though, there are comedians. I don't think I've ever seen Chris Farley do stand up. Me neither, bro. I think it's funny. I've never seen Steve Carell do stand up. But does that ever blow your mind? But you count them as comedians. He is a comedian. They are comedians. Does yeah. that ever blow your He's mind? You'll actor. see comedians and you'll just they'll do a certain style or whatever. You're like, oh, it's Jim Carrey. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nah, not not. I haven't seen. I've seen like th- I've, I've seen like three comics. But that's like the style really? that comes from like theater, my nigga. That's mm-hmm. style. That's like theater style. Bars. But, this episode. That's what, but that's what people look for. And even when you go to a comedy club, so they, they ask you if you can do yeah, acting on the because they know what hits. Yeah, you know what I mean. A lot of people aren't then doing. They don't know what hits. Cause, but that's like, the thing. Though okay. I've never been a fan of when we do a show and they're like, yo, how's the how's the crowd tonight? Oh, they not liking that. I'm not gonna do that. I never like that shit. Nah, I don't give a fuck about if that. If you got that fire shit, your shit work in any room. What I'm saying is guys who do act outs and impressions are more likely to sell out a theater and get to stadiums yeah, and they have w- that energy. They you want to be a clown, yeah. Lawrence, what do yeah, you, but what do you consider um not not, I want, hey, not not easier or more impressive, but like jokes that can kill in every, in every room definitely exist, right? But also there's something to going, oh, I have a set for every room. Like, like, ha- like, I'm not saying you no, should no, no. do that. No, no, I pivot for every room, but I don't have a set for every room. Yeah. No, 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 not a set, but I you mean, know, I what write say, jokes like, that's supposed to be made for any audience. That's all I'm saying. I, I, you look at a room and you go, you, I'm, I'm saying, I'm not, I'm not arguing you. I'm just saying, you, you may look at a room and go, oh no, they don't be, don't be so dirty tonight. If I, even, even if you no, say no, the word I, cock yeah, tonight, they're kind of like, ugh. there's also in you, in you as a comic to read the room. Yeah, for sure. Because I've 100%. done as, because we got caught up. In the COVID times when we had to put her outside, it did be a crackhead right there, but also be a woman feeding her baby right, right here. Right there, yeah. So you have that's to be hilarious. slick with it. That'd be good. And that's you a perfect time for you to end on a rape joke like you did at my show. Oh, <laughs> got, yeah. Guys talk about read the room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a good <laughs> joke. Had a fire joke. Went to a talk next about, joke. I want to end on something dark. Guy goes, I want to end on something dark. It was a good, joke. Yo, was so a good joke. I asked him. No, it was a great joke, bro. No, this ass. First of all, that last rape joke was not... A joke. It wasn't complete. Yeah, I mean, he, was he just you. ended on a premise and bounced. No, I did. <laughs> yes, you did. No, do did. the joke. I'm not doing a joke on a podcast. Let me do the joke. No. Say no the clown. joke. Ain't it's, no clown, it's, it's, it was two words. Yo, by the <laughs> way, he just did the premise and bounce. Is something I've heard about Lawrence before. <laughs> <laughs> That's a funny. Yo, he dude. just That's came. Yo, he just showed up. No, the premise and bounce. But he did kill certain things I do for a certain. By the way, did I tell you the podcast? I got a full joke of it. I just won't tell because you didn't want to do it. It was only a minute. It was only like thirty seconds left. You could have took that time. You were the last comic, no? What's your name? What's her name? Gina. Gina. Gina Hyena. Say your name again. Gina. Gina. What he said. No, say the full name. Gina Hyena. <sighs> I hate it. Is that not her name? It, no, 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 no. It's just okay. the fact I don't know that why he like, was mad about that. Why? Uh, I don't. I mean, is her last name really Hyena? Or? Is it no, really? Oh, of course. Got, that's what I'm trying to well, say. Okay. I know her, so she got her name from doing. I think she said she started out doing comedy on like OnlyFans or some shit. So she used to do so, um, a what, webcam what, what, or some shit. What is your favorite thing about comedy? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Why do you, why, so, what, what, what did that make you feel? What happened to you? Just, you just it, don't care? No, uh, it's just like most it's people weird. start at like... It's like, it's like remember, at, remember when you met Eddie Spaghetti? Like yeah, yeah, and yeah, you yeah. kind of giggle to yourself and like, you go, why yeah. does that make you feel weird? I hate names. Yeah, like yeah. Because I don't, I don't, I don't get what character. starting That's, comedy on OnlyFans means. Yeah. I don't get what it means. It was like, I think webcam or some shit. That's you guys want to hear something crazy <laughs> that uh, I heard from, um, I'm actually not going to say who I almost said the name, uh, from another comedian I heard that they know for a fact. Apparently there's an LA comic. Uh, oh, they all I, suck. Someone we, someone we don't know, but they someone like suck. young, whatever. He got big on, t- he has a lot of TikTok followers. Of course. But he course posts videos. That's literally all LA, bro. He posts videos uh, and they're, he started doing over pandemic. They're fake videos. Like he'll set up his camera, has a backdrop that looks like a club, and he adds in laughter. But he'll start videos oh like God, just kind of like. Have I said this before on the podcast? No. no. He'll, he'll start videos where he just like the beginning of the video will just be him obviously acting. He'll just be like, <laughs> "That was wild, right?" And then I walked in the door, and there's just laughter. It's like you're in a comedy club. He got famous. I can see DC's just world breaking. No, 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 I'm just, I'm just trying to. Like, he does this on stage, the same she does on TikTok. So oh, he just God. started selling out. Now he's going on the of road. Of course, he can sell it out. He has TikTok out. following. Exactly, it's not saying. funny though. Yeah. But like, yeah. I think, but it's ass crazy ass. to think. Like, do you think what's so obviously? I know this room is gonna go in on this, but it's like, does is this person gonna show up to rooms thinking he's gonna kill and bomb, or I think he. That audience is already there, groomed, and they know mm-hmm. when to laugh because his videos are telling them when to laugh, and they're gonna all just be right. a dumb audience. But that's like for most of them social media niggas when they come to a stand up club and they feel. But do you think they, the fans are gonna? Have you a can host, time? but you can't do comedy, nah, fam. I, they a lot of them 
Interesting. Get this run of being able to do it for like a year or a couple months, but they can't sell tickets again the following year because they can't hold a show down mm-hmm. like that. And the audience mm-hmm. is not real. Yeah, and a lot, of, a lot of the, and what I heard was a lot of them they'll do ten minutes of comedy mm-hmm. and the rest of it is a meet and greet, selling merch, signing off. It's, yeah. it's like it's like bank robbery kind of. Um, you know. All right, guys, what's up, guys? Let's take a quick second and thank our newest sponsor here at Doped Up. And Dian, Knee Even Eyewear. You see me, I got them on. I'm looking fly as ever. Knee Even is our favorite new partner because the they best. never need a promo code. They know their sunglasses rule. I know they rule because I got them on. They're their amazing. deal is even better, and our Doped Up and Dying crew will be coming their way. Guys, you shouldn't have to break the bank for sunglasses. This is my new favorite thing. I yes, get like sir. three or four pairs at a time. Yes, if you lose one, you break one. It doesn't really matter because like that's how good they are. They're so cheap. So, guys, go check out kneeeveneyewear.com. See their full line of men's, women's sunglasses. Buy one, get two pairs. Two pairs free. Ooh. Just add three pairs to your cart. We even That's three pairs. We even got Natalie one. Natalie. Look at Natalie. Me even. Beautiful. Guys, it's everlasting guarantee. You know what I just said? If you lose them or you break them, yeah. you, can, you have two more. Oh, my God. Dude. They even have a guarantee you're lost stolen. So you still have your three pairs. How so many if you break that one, do that? you have all the pairs. That's how cheap Knee Even Come is. Come on, man. Knee Even is the best. Also, every time you get a free gift with your purchase, they even have polarized lenses if you're into that. And I like a good polarized. If you know, I love a good Polaroid. Even we like to be polarizing. Even when it's a nude. Yeah. Um, guys, one more time. Go to KneeEvenEyewear.com and they know that every pair is shipped with the love of the Space Coast in Florida, Florida USA. USA. Florida, baby. We're coming to you from Cocoa <laughs> Beach, Florida. Cape Canaveral, Florida. NASA technology in the glasses. And you know what? If it's good enough for NASA, it's good enough for your sunglasses. Get the hell out of here. Come on, guys, guys. even. Doped up and dying. That guy is an autistic genius. Can I switch chairs? This chair sucks, bro. I'm not going to lie to you. I want that chair. I just want to push it over here. Wait, really? you little boy yeah, hurt. just be centered Thank in the shot. Your chair, bro, and pull that one. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Talk bro. over it. Talk thank over you, it. Thank you. Thank I, you. I, thank I, you. I, appreciate I, it. Appreciate I, I, it. I, I, no, no. no so I, I, I just wanted the, the podcast <laughs> stopping for that. <laughs> it's like. Black, <laughs> I got so infuriated just now. Really? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so, bro, you don't understand. That chair just. It was not coming. I know. I get it. I love I love the dude that shows up late. Speaking of that, like again, nobody said to me on the phone. I call, I call him. I go, yo, how far are you? He goes, ah, ah you see, that's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, forgot we're doing you the gotta, pod you today. You understand? A black person thinks between. Four. Don't do that. No, no, <laughs> don't no, do no, that. no, 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 no. Don't, don't, don't do race. No, no, no. no, no, no. This is what I'm about to say. Black people think of four lives before they about to tell you the truth. Nah, bro. It really happens. Bro, I was trying to get. We got about four good lives. We had that. We just tell. By the way, fucking me. He had four. He actually had four. I had a meeting. We had the meeting like 3.30. Right after that, I got on the phone with somebody at there's 4. One. So that shit kind of pushed it over. Uh-huh. And then I stayed two. a little bit more. Because I hit quota three. and I was trying to blah, 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 X, Y, Z. there's 4. <laughs> and, and then you That's think about it. who died in the family. Like, and I was on Adderall well, and totally forgot, died, honestly. Like, yeah, which like, probably should No, no, no but I, I call him and go, so I go, how far are you? He goes, ah, you see, that's the thing, man. I was like, yo, I'm at work. No, you did not say that. Yo, no, no, you said, I forgot. I go, DC, it's Thursdays. We were always record the podcast Thursdays. And then you went. <laughs> That's what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Loki. Well, before I actually came, because I said you came and I saw you. I remembered it was Thursday when I saw you at work, and I was like, I gotta do a show tonight. I felt like a Friday. Yeah, that was because yeah. I usually I you know what I mean so I'm just like what if you're me because he goes he goes I saw Kevin and I, and I asked him and I he did. said he said I said are we doing the yeah. pot again and he goes yeah I don't know <laughs> did yeah, you say this yeah no no first of all no I didn't and you did you no, looked at me and you went. Did. Dylan. I was like, you no, speak no, to no. Dylan? Like, That's what he doing, asked are, me. Are we doing a podcast? Inside, inside beef, nigga. He said, he said your comics are the worst. Inside beef, nigga. That's what, he said, I was like, are you, you know we're doing the pod today? It's Thursday. Yeah, I, I guess so. Me. I'm like, all right, you speak to Dylan? Y'all yeah, going to bring this up on the so group. Yeah, I was just like, all right, bro. Yo, Lawrence, how you, do you yeah. fall in love? Do you have, have you been in love? <laughs> what? Heavy segue, bro. Have you been in love, bro? Why? Yes, I have been in love. I have been in love. Who broke up with who? She broke up with me. She broke up with you? Why? Huh? Why? I'm supposed to. You want me to call her? Call her. No. You don't know why she broke up. What the fuck you? are you really? doing? Call Think, her. Things happen. <laughs> things happen. You don't feel like you did anything. How long ago? How long ago you were in that relationship? Like four or five years ago. Four or five years ago. You have been in another relationship since. Uh, I've been in a relationship, but never in love. Oh. Uh, what, 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 <laughs> what was different about her? Huh? What was different about her? Well, like why we wasn't in love? No. Why did you? Why were you in love with the only girl you were in love with? Because she was bad. It sounds like Kev- <laughs> she was a baddie. Yeah, how bad? I feel like, Devin, like Nigga, Kevin's what? like dating your ex, and he's like, "Are you? Would you be okay if I like, know, right? like, you, know, you know, Jessica from 14? Yeah, like he's just like, nah. these questions are coming up like too I don't quick. Know. He's I don't really know. he's but he's, he's like 
deeply curious. Yeah, really is. Yeah, like because he's like my mom don't ask me this type of shit. That's crazy. Your mom don't ask you. Let's get on the line. No. What the fuck are you? What do you think your mom would say about you right now, knowing that you only been in love one time? Oh, that's my son. That's your, that's, that's it. A, that's how she raised. What yeah. makes you fall in love with it? Like, of course she's bad. Care, no, no, I'm just asking. Pussy fire, or whatever. But like, what yeah. would like, what was it about her or whatever? Because there's a lot of bad chicks. Because I was and younger. You don't fall I for was them. young. You a young man? Mm-hmm. Oh, you're 22, you, bro. 26. He's 26. So he was 21 years old when he was in love. Oh, Jesus Christ! Is this Dr. Yeah. Phil? What did yeah, I? Right. What if I started? This is doped this up is and dying a Sunday morning, morning smoke show. Sunday morning wanted, love show. I just, I wanted, yeah, I just wanted to get away from talking about comedy for a second. Oh, I wanted, yeah. uh, we were talking I about wanted, comedy. We're talking I, about how our friend was late uh, to the podcast. Yeah, yeah, I wanted to, was, and that right? was boring. Let's be yeah, real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boring. Hey, not fun to talk about. <laughs> there were no jokes behind it. We were about to argue for no reason. So I wanted to ask this man about his love life. That how a girl suck your toes? Yes. Yeah, mm-hmm. you, you know, I knew that right away. Yo, Why? Seamless transitions are killing me. Have you ever had girls suck your toes? I had a girl ask me to, and you never did. I it. couldn't do it. Why? Yes, I couldn't disrespect her that way. I don't know why. This bitch asked you. Yeah, but I didn't want it. Did women you like he women said last week on the podcast. Women, dis- women like being disrespected. It's a thing. This girl definitely for did. kink. I definitely think, did. I think Kevin hit his head today. So why? Because I'm, I'm about it. He I'm was talking. It, no, he did shrooms last week. I did shrooms last night. I'm sorry. Oh, did you really? Mm-hmm. I'm trying to do shoots with some people, but no one seems to really want to do it. I'm you, trying you to. It's just funny because I saw, I saw Kevin before this podcast. So, you never so done what happened before? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, what happened? People? Yeah. Is, <laughs> is that hard to find drug addicts? You, I, I don't remember what you guys said when we were going to Philly, but I don't. I well, no, DC. Like, like, like I was gonna say before when we were arguing. Like he said to me, I go. He goes, I asked Kevin at the podcast. I go, you know, I don't have a phone too. He hasn't texted me. I didn't know he wanted to do shrooms. And hang yeah. out. No, I asked you guys when we were at Nico and all that. I was like, does anybody want to do shrooms like in June? I didn't want to like do that. that. Uh, He's I playing shrooms yeah. like a month out. No, no. Do shrooms in June? He had, he had a date for shrooms. He had a date wow. for real. Are you free That's this day? <laughs> That's to do how shrooms? white people have a good time on drugs because they make plans. They're like, yo, let's no, go to the don't. beach. Let's they go have here a good time because do they don't have any plans. <laughs> you can give them anything. Uh, They're like, I'm bro. down. I'm down. So it's always a white thing. Yep. But you know that, bro. You're like, yo, we're going to go here. We're going to go to this rock and watch the waterfall. We're going to take acid. I will say this. I will say this. So I've yeah, seen I've seen my friends playing. in college. We will base a whole uh, shroom adventure around no, that's one, what I'm one saying, walk on a beach, right, dude. Nigga, the sacred rock. Niggas get high and walk around the hood, bro. That shit is traumatizing. Bro. That? You're We're in Manhattan right now. We We're are, but, in Manhattan right I don't now. know, man. <laughs> But I know it's fun to do shrooms in your living room by yourself. I've done it. It's no, cool. I think we've done it. Shrooms should not be yeah, done yeah, in the living room yeah. by yourself. Really? Have a good time. Be outside. Oh, I had nah, a good time. I, I, don't think I was just watching Netflix. One of my favorite time. times on shrooms, I was in Washington Square Park. What were you doing? Doing shrooms. <laughs> 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 you catch that part? <laughs> <laughs> That's the encouragement. That's what I mean. There's no activity. <laughs> no, we did more. No activity. We did, we did, high we did more. Done, we got high. White dudes we, t- take shrooms. We, go see a second walk on the beach yeah, three yeah, hours we got, away. We got high. We ended up playing. Uh, what's that shit with the colors on the on the shit? It's when you got put it's called dominoes. Dominoes. You got to put your hand here. Basketball dominoes. Huh? You were playing Twister. We were playing Twister at Washington Square Park. White, it's a little white, and then we were skipping. I imagine white girls with dirty feet and shit. Wow, hey, yo, no, hold, on, hold, on, hold on, can you imagine Lawrence doing twister skipping? Job. No, we no. Skip. Not only did we skip, we skipped from Washington Square Park to Midtown. He That's looks like the type of dude that will surprise you with his ability to double dutch. Oh, I could Wait, double oh, dutch. Wait, you could double dutch. Wait, you oh, were oh, <laughs> You really skipped down the street to with my down? friends, yes. With my friends. <laughs> with my friends. Yeah, yes. I was doing hood rat things with my hood Me rat my friends. friends. <laughs> <laughs> Why is this Square Park one of the best plays ever? Dude, but I, I'm just yeah, saying, what if like my everything. first impression, like what if I remembered like we were filming the vlog back mm. in the day and we like filmed Lawrence and we saw like a bunch of people skipping down the street? Everything I do shouldn't be filmed. And then years later we like met him in comedy. I'm not You that dude skip? He's like, yo, yeah. Be so random and weird. I'm not one of the people that like everything filmed. I don't think a lot of things should be filmed. Hey, you filmed old boy. What's his name? The mayor. He was running for president. He was, I don't think a lot of things should be filmed. Fi- he you, was. I don't think that a was lot your of team filmed. No, that, that was people? me. But I didn't film. Is that it. still on your page? Yes, it's always gonna be on my Can, page. Is, <laughs> what's your Instagram? Lawrence Reese. Just bring, you bring it up. Actually, speaking of that, if you I mean if you want to do this, we can also do plugs. Oh, Side Talk NYC filmed it. No, Miles filmed it. Oh, okay, okay. We keep saying you didn't film it. If Miles filmed it, you filmed, you filmed it. it. <laughs> I, mean, I got the view. Like, by the way, wait, by the way, that, that is literally like me handing you yeah. my phone. And like, yeah. DC filmed this, and but they I, like, guys, no, he told I me, no, he told me, <laughs> no, to film take. It. He told this. me to film it. That was a good catch, bro. Yeah, it was. It was. A good moment, bro. He's he's flagrant he, too, bro. He's one of them guys. Again, speaking of people that don't understand what's happening, and uh, look for the video, uh, especially Natalie, what I'm trying to get to, is Lawrence went to um. What what who was it? Senator? Who is it? 
No, he's supposed to, he was a mayor. He Andrew was running, Yang. Andrew he was Yang. a mayor, yeah, but he was running to be president. And he was outside the stand. Yeah. He's a loser, that's why. Yeah. Now, Even you know, if you don't lose, stop you Asian hate. Name. I didn't know it. What do you mean, stop Asian hate? He could have stopped Asian hate if you wanted. Asian niggas. <laughs> fuck them Asian niggas. Asian people hate black people. Fuck they do. Them. They you do hate it. black people. Fuck and I try to talk about it in my comedy, and I haven't gotten to the bit, but I'm just like... Because you just got to get to it. How can you just throw that out there? No, no, no. If you grow up in proximity with them, they don't really care for us like that. Are you telling a white man about race? <laughs> Every, <laughs> never understand, nigga. Where everybody was Fuck like black and gold, black people and Asian people. No, yeah, yellow. Like a young Jewish and I was kid just like race. even worse. And I was like, bro, you were slaves too. They got to talk about ra- how racism and colorism is in their community. They never address that, but then they want you to be an ally immediately when one person. And gets you see attacked. what they did for for one Asian person. people when they was getting person, beat up, but when bro. niggas get shot, they did nothing for. Them. Fuck out of here. It was, there were no Asians at the BLM Asian orchards? people were getting beat up. I'm sure they, they were, but Asian they people just... were getting beat up and they were like, oh, we have an Uber ride for you. Fuck out of here. Bro, <laughs> <nigga>. George Floyd <laughs> was like Coachella for white people that couldn't go to Coachella yeah, that year. Fuck right. Christ, getting oh, shot. There's so oh, many hot takes take. coming across the street. It was. That was a good one. Bro, you brought up a black topic. Bro, you went outside and you see what chicks chicks looked hot. Chicks looked so hot marching that I could not think about what was happening. How much did porn I have to wow! I don't know why. I haven't watched porn in six, seven months. I'm going what? on seven. Woo! How many? You know, how many white girls? Yeah, bro. You know, six, seven white boys cleaning day. himself up, man. George Floyd had a sex thing too. That's not clean to come though. You're not, you're not jerking. <laughs> no, I'm not jerking George either, bro. What? Yeah, he, no, he's not a sex. He was a porn. He's on Pornhub. And, I've only like, seen one video. Yeah, he's a couple videos on the internet. Uh, doing wait, we haven't you? I want to get back to that. George Floyd has. That's what you're bringing up. Okay. Star. Yeah, yeah. We. I think we've not talked about that, but everyone knows that. Yeah, yeah, of course. You haven't. Sorry, dude. I haven't. That, went, that, I, that, got, that was a lot of hot takes to end with. This thing is the most wildest was, uh, from one segment to the another. I'm a lot, he's I been know. good though. I like, he's on rapid fire. I like Crazy. him. He's keeping me. He's keeping so you me don't on. come. Yeah. I, 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 but you know I come when I shit. You know I come for no reason. But, <laughs> oh, Lawrence, did you know this about me? <laughs> I come for no reason, bro. I'm 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 a cum machine, bro. <laughs> what? Yeah, bro. Like if a chick is ever <laughs> like, no, <laughs> don't come right now. <laughs> it's money. over. I'm coming. You what? know what I mean? But yeah, I, bro. I come all the time. If I don't jack off, I will come when I. Piss sometimes. Real cum or pre cum? Cum, bro. Like, wait, blow up like a blob. Wait, Swear wait, to God. Like, what? Do you feel exactly I don't exactly? feel it. I don't feel it. Be feeling it. It's cum. I know what my cum looks like. I've been massive since I was 13. Cum's not white. It's clear. It's, yeah, it comes what out like fuck? cum. It's clear. It's like, do you have an STD? Trust me, I don't. Oh, no, no, no. no, no, no. Pre cum pre-cum is clear. Like, a no, load? So that's the thing. It's not a load. It's a load, bro. It's like a low key load. It'll be like this much. Like getting on the train, like next stop. And then you just nothing on the nigga. Next stop, Nutville. <laughs> yeah, just, bro, I'm, I blast. Bro. Every bro, time I be shoots. busting, bro. Yeah, I be taking the express train. And shit. Bro, I, I sit down and take a shit. Wait, again, and this is the this is the scary part. Wow. Saying, I've known. I know for a fact you shit at my house. Yeah, I've told so now you. I know for a fact you've also had a load at my house. I don't. I don't know. I don't the know if I shit in your house that often. I've. I mean, they know now. I've talked about pockets like a couple times. They, like, they feel like incomplete when they keep fucking you. <laughs> like he just keeps. Hey, nutting. You he turn keeps me nutting. on, but you don't nutting. turn me on like a shit does. But you, no, no. Hey, you fuck me, you don't know. But you went to make a <laughs> wait, plate, wait, wait, wait. and now you nut. What the fuck? Has this started? Wild as shit ever. Has this started after since the seven months of no porn? No, no this off? was ha- this was something that happened. He been like this since he was two years old. This even his mom was like, "What the fuck?" Why does it keep coming years. out? Why does it keep coming out? A couple years, but it started happening more when I stopped masturbating. Why this nigga had found out in the weird? Uh, like, I got, I obviously, How'd I'm, you find this out? It was I'm, the weirdest shit, wasn't it? Yeah, I just kept looking at, I kept. Like you said, I was running on the treadmill, <laughs> and then nut just happened. <laughs> like, nigga, what? Dripping down my I was oh working, my I was God. squatting one time. I thought I was sweating, out. clearly. This it is so corny, but when you call DC, you're like, what he's doing? He's like, nothing. You're like, he's really just nothing, bro. <laughs> yeah. He's really just at home, nothing. I'm just yeah, 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 nothing. You're doing nothing. No, 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 that's fine. Wait, okay. I don't know why I have sorry. Too much this, but I need to know no, for go, my, go, my go. sanity. Fuck it. <laughs> Does do, do you like something in your butt? No. <laughs> I feel, like, I feel like this is automatic. That no, bro. It happens when shit comes out Have my butt. Have you ever had a thing in your butt? <laughs> no. No, no girls ever tried. tried. Yeah, they've tried. Of course girls try. Girls but you don't know. Nah, 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 bro. Okay. Not, a girl's never tried that before. A whole finger? Really? Nah, bro. Huh? No, no, no. Really? A girl's never tried that Never tried? tried? A chick would do that just to see you fucking At least she's tried. I just wouldn't she take your finger in the butt? No. Okay. I don't like anything. But a chick has tried, and you're like, she's tried. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I grabbed that hand, I was bit off. Of course. <laughs> For real, bro. <laughs> but yeah, I, don't, bro, I don't know why. I gotta. Maybe and I gotta. And then you realize it's like, oh, no, why'd I do that? Can we Google it? Can we Google why Why do men come? Uh, for no reason, this no is, this result. Is a, this ever. is a you problem. <laughs> this, I'm trying no, to help you guys. So it's not a man problem. It's, it's not a you problem. You know, like when chicks have the problem of orgasming too much and throughout it's the not day, multiple it's women. Not it's even like, the same wait, thing. I've already heard this 
once from another person. They say there's pressure on your prostate. So. Well, I heard that if uh, there's this that guy named that's an alternative ass. title to this guys, episode, guys. I mean, guys. You like shouldn't ask it. So I heard this guy named Eddie <laughs> on your mom's house podcast. Eddie, yeah, Eddie, and he holds his shit in, and I could have swore he also said that sometimes when he takes his shit, it's so powerful because he holds his shit in for two, three weeks. And then oh. it makes them come. You hold it in? Now, do you hold Bro, it in? I shit three times a day. I shit. What? I shit You're coming three lot. times a day? I shit. I'll probably, out of the two times I take a shit, I'll probably come once or twice. Once or twice. Yeah. yeah. He's what? coming or every three day. Three times. Yeah, yeah. Like it, to the Wait, point where see, I'm like, I need to empty the really sack. Really sack. Really He's healthy. He's By the way, also, I, I'm yeah, sorry, yeah. As, like a, as like a homeowner, if. Like, oh, this nigga owns a house. That was the that was the wrong term. What's like what's like? Dylan uh, is slowly realtor. revealing. A resident, that is, no, 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 every episode, like Dylan's resident? revealing that he's getting paid for this pod and no one else is. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> don't go to enjoy it really. As a homeowner, you drink green tea too. You, yeah. gotta, you gotta be healthy and shit. <laughs> As a homeowner, you gotta be home. Yeah. You, you know, so every time you do this, you say you you have to now take toilet paper, wipe your ass, and then. Nah, toilet wait, paper. It's in the, it's in the toilet, bro. It's in the toilet. You flush it. That, that means that that means you know it's coming. So you're pointing your dick down to come into the toilet while you shit. My dick what is down. Fuck, I'm sitting out on the toilet, bro. My dick is hanging. It's fucking hanging. And I'm talking about low key flaccid, bro. Too much information like my, about my, this yeah, movie. my dick is flaccid and it's bussing, bro. Bussing? Like, bro, I'm just meant you're, to bust, bro. Like, no, you're bussing. My uncles <laughs> were, dude. People, men in my family are busters. We're hella kids, multiple baby and us. So I'm just trying to figure out. Because you have mad kids, don't make you a buster. But, but I'm so, yeah. stop saying what? buster bussing. It means, this is it too means, much for me. It's buster bussing, bro. I really brother, but, brother. Who's I'm your trying brother? To, like, I don't get the bastard. I'm trying. I'm trying to retain my semen, I guess, but it's not. It's just jumping out. Yeah, they say it makes but no, not, not, for real, the right though, not for watching porn and masturbating has made me feel better as a person though. I'm not I never thought it was probably but it you're really a whore. Does. You're a nut machine. Yeah. You're, you're literally you're a whore. You're a nut machine. <laughs> you're a whore. Oh, we're talking about DC. Williams, you're a whore. You're, you're, you're really a cum dumpster. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no, I'm no, I'm not a cum dumpster. I'm a cum uh trash can. No, no, no. I uh, what do you call uh like something that lets off? Don't ever do that movement. I'm uh I'm a I'm a cum. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm a cum, cum dispenser. dispenser. I'm a cum oh, dispenser. Yeah, no yeah, yeah, yeah. Speaking of loads, I should be. I should um, get have you guys watched man. a new documentary on Netflix <laughs> with a dude who inseminated like over a hundred people? Yeah, I want to finish watching that because you know it's my favorite shit to watch documentaries and then write bits I like about it. I love that. <laughs> yeah, shit. You and every my other comic. Bit. No, but a lot of comics. I like it when it's real, bro. though. I like it when it's real. It is, no, it's real. It's real. It's not like the tennis sooner thing. People, people think it's fake. I kind of feel like it's fake. I like when it's real. Wait, can I? I want to point out one thing in that documentary. Now, when you start watching it, notice. That um he had over a hundred children. Obviously, some of them would be male, right? Okay. Yeah. Out of everyone that's like in that documentary, the only dudes that are in there are like questionably. One of them's definitely gay. The other one I think is a bear. Is it most people? You think gay? these are some of his sons that they interviewed? No, no, or no, no, possible the, kids? No, no, no. The two of them. I'm saying this is gonna sound fucked up. Guys don't. I don't think guys come out about that stuff. Like about I, what? like I think if what, Netflix about being gay. I, no, about. So the story is this old this uh, doctor insemination doctor um, people back in the day would come up to him and be like hey we uh, my husband can't come can't oh, get me guy, pregnant so he would go in the up. bathroom without obviously telling AKA them. AKA DC <laughs> 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 he took a shit real quick <laughs> <laughs> scoop it out the toilet he took a shit real <laughs> quick <laughs> scoop the extra that'd come that'd be wild if you nut so much but you still can't get women this is all for me yeah that'd be wild this is all for you what if my semen doesn't work even <laughs> that's crazy because I've never got a chick pregnant bro me neither like. And By the way, sometimes not use condoms. Don't jinx it, man. Dude, dude, yeah, you're, dude, right, you're dude, right. Watching you're this right. documentary, Especially these days, you watching, sounded like my conscious Nat. Yeah. <laughs> he really did sound like God. I gotta like God. Watching this that. documentary, I, you can look at my my last web search was I'm I already booked an appointment. I'm gonna go get my uh, sperm count tested. Sure, this, this, I did. I started had a full blown panic get my attack. Prostate check, bro. What? Oh, because going. you haven't got a girl pregnant. No, but you never got a girl pregnant. Yes, but also at the same time, I'm like, bro, I don't. I want to make sure I'm good. I want to have kids. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, I've always I mean, joked. I've always joked like, oh, well, if I don't, if I'm not able to, nah, that's the best nah, thing nah, ever. Nah, nah. nah, 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 nah I don't want, 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 want some old dude putting his semen. Like, what? What else are you gonna do on Earth besides have a kid? Well, ask all these young bitches about shit. Be successful in comedy. Yeah, yeah. And then most girls our age don't believe in having kids like that. Well, if you want a kid, they don't. But that's that's how they feel till they're like 38 and they have too many cats. Or they meet a real nigga. Yeah, I mean, you gonna have my baby. Yeah, you gonna have my baby. Yo, my man put a gun in. You gonna have my baby. You gonna have mine. He's wild, bro. No, that was him. No, no, no. That was him passing her a joint. That was her. That's true. That's true. Who passes joints like this? Yeah, yeah. We trying to help face. Who passes a joint like this? We trying to yeah. We trying to clean up your image. Let's 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 let's. My image is doing great. This is a very sticky episode. This is a very sticky topic. 
That's easy let's, for let's, 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 let's throw in. For, I actually I mean, got to take a shit. Hold on. No, I'm sorry. That'd be wild. No, sure. Let's throw in some plug music. <laughs> my fucking, my shit needs a plug, bro. <laughs> Blasting, bro. I mean, <laughs> what's the most you've done in one day? Bro, just taking a shit like twice, bro. So you only know it twice in one day? Just by the way, not, I mean, not, DC, not spinning or anything. Maybe bro. it should be a joke because I, I think I have thought about you doing this motion. Speaking of act outs, DC one time looked at me and just goes, "Dude, I've been seeing this chick. You ever come so much that your dick is just like, <laughs> yeah, 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 and yeah. just did That's that. Yeah, yeah. No con, just looked at me and just uh, goes, <laughs> <laughs> coughing, bro, it's shooting blanks. It's on the fourth nut. There's no wild. more nut, bro. Do it again. <laughs> your dick, everyone. <laughs> Yeah. That's it, bro. You you and your dick needs a social distance. Bro, I, I have, bro. I, I have, bro. Think, past so. seven months. Put, all right, all right. put a that, mask on your sorry. dick, bro. Let's throw it to the sticky man in the you corner. DC Congress. Williams, tell him where to find you. Um, You can find me online at DC Does It on Instagram. In, in DC, your bathroom's coming? <laughs> DC D-U-Z-Z-I-T-T. When I'm not coming, I'm doing comedy and also comedy <laughs> shows with my boy Kevin Sanchez. Mungo and Oxtail is live tomorrow at 7.30 at Sugar Hill Cafe, mm-hmm. 145 in St. Nick. I got a show tomorrow tonight it doesn't matter because it's coming out sunday but it's all good guys thank you i appreciate it and uh to yeah. our guests to our esteemed guests man. lawrence, lawrence reese. Reese. Shit, man tell my me find you my name is lawrence reese i'm from the bronx <laughs> don't give me your address uh, this is the I'm time you're full Instagram. address just know i be in the be in the hood doing hood rat things sometimes let's go so you sometimes. ever seen him out there just know don't talk to him no talk to me i'll have a great conversation with you just don't try to will smith me or you're gonna get slapped too <laughs> i'm trying to will smith me. um i'll be i'll be uh i'll be all over the place got some shows coming up got some things in the work yeah. find me on instagram twitter and with tiktok same name lawrence reese and uh free my pops and i uh, love your mama hey that's a beautiful <laughs> message uh kevin sanchez yo you can find me at its kev sanchez on twitter instagram and tiktok Yes, sir. How's it and yes, shout sir. out to the Ball gang. Boy, Knoxtail. Natty Ice. You did it. Yeah. Before you? Wow. <laughs> no one ever, I don't know if you noticed, no one ever does that for me, so I do it for everyone around here. I appreciate here. you. It's okay. Uh, Natalie DeChico edits on Instagram, D E C I C C O. Uh, if you're sober, trying to get sober, listen to Seltzer Squad that's coming back. That's Hell a show yeah. I hey. for. Basically, if you're watching this show and you're like, I'm on the wrong show, yeah, exactly. I need the complete opposite of, a, the, of this sober? show. She's sober? Go, um, I am she not, is. So Seltzer Squad. It was my first uh, she, oh yeah, you foray into That's hilarious. Editing. That's so comedy, dude. She's Are you giving, sober? Nah, but I produce it. Dylan? Guys, follow me at Dylan J. Negri. Uh, go to my website, Dylan Comedy. I have dates up there. I gotta update that stuff. Uh, road stuff, all that stuff will be on my Instagram. Yes, the sure. 10 Minutes Too Long Tour goes on. Check out a city near you. And guys, follow Dope to Been Dying. Dope that's, to Been Dying every Sunday at, at 8 a.m. <laughs> um, at what time? Subscribe. 8 a.m., you said? What did I say? You said 11 a.m.? You said 8. Oh, sorry. 11 a.m. 11 a.m. Cool, <laughs> it says right there on the two shots. This is Dope Up and Dying. The Sunday morning smoke, smoke show. It's yeah, every bitch. Sunday. You know what's funny? Someone messaged me and they said they're looking forward to Sunday. So uh, this one goes out to you. Yeah, Play the hits. It's so like... Not- yeah, people get excited. I'm just like, oh, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People hitting you up now? Yeah. Some people, yeah. Some people, like the one guy was like looking forward to Mungo and Oxtail. Uh, Kyle was just like, oh, damn, bro. I appreciate it. It's fucking awesome, yeah, dude. He was at Broken Comedy, bro. It was yeah. really yeah. dope when you also tagged the wrong me. And not, I, didn't, I didn't do not that. Not the Apollo I didn't do is that. racist did that. against Shady did that. Did black and white, apparently. Hey, bro, that's that's not Dylan. Yeah, Shady, mm. she did that. It was, what'd you tag? Something Dylan? Spelt the completely one different. The one Dylan, yeah. <laughs> Because we had one black Dylan who comes to the show all the time. So it was fire, too. Yeah, who fire. also has a joke about his name being Dylan, which is fire. Yo, you know, um, this is Norm MacDonald's son. Is you didn't say that Dylan, part. You didn't say that last I, part. That was weird. What? what? You didn't say that he also has a joke about his name being Dylan, you know? Can make me feel. Let, let me let me feel original. Yeah, no, no, I'm no, but it's just it's a name joke. Every con, if you have a weird name, you <laughs> nah, gotta make no. a joke about I should, it. Right? I want to. I, I, wanna, I still want to do that bit. That's where um, I, if um, go follow me on. By the uh, way, it's TikTok. completely different. He's black, and he's like, Tori, I, I, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I get it. So uh, totally. Go follow me on TikTok because uh, I want I want to delete everything. My the bit I want be wanting to do. I want to go to like every comic and just ask them what's your name joke. Every comic has a name joke. Go follow me on comic. TikTok. I'm going to delete one. everything. This guy. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I heard. That's, That's what I heard. That's what so I heard. <laughs> I'm about to he delete said it. delete everything. Yeah. Too. But also <laughs> upload. Start those. over. Yeah. <laughs> Lawrence. Oh, let's what? go. He got the question. Oh, a question. Go Lawrence. Ahead. Hot, hot questions with Kat. Following his lead, man. <laughs> Lawrence. So, who do you hate the most? Huh? Who do you hate the most these days? The most? The most. Who do you just, like, you look at your... Not, it doesn't have to be a person. Lo- it's a loaded it could be a, fucking it could question. Be, it, it doesn't have to be a person. It could be a group of people. 
It could be a race of people. <laughs> no, no, no. KKK. No. Yeah. It could be a. It could be people. a movement. Know, right? <laughs> it's so it, dude, Lawrence answers questions like Kanye West. <laughs> like you always like we got him, and then you're like he's like says something. You're like yeah. that was fucking mad slick. God damn it. It could be a movement. Gaga does sell Polaroids. What the fuck she know about cameras? Like he's making sense. It could I mean, be people that wear a certain brand. <laughs> I know what he's Who do you hate? Who do I hate? Yeah. I mean, at the moment, you, so... Yo, you hate me at the moment? At the moment. You guys seem like you would be friends. He's, 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 no, we are friends. No, no, I know, but these you guys seem like weird. Like outside of comedy. He's too. asking the most weird yeah, questions yeah. right He's there. asking good, he's asking deep diving questions. For no reason. Shit. Yeah, it makes it interesting, though. <laughs> yeah. It makes it interesting. I don't really I mean, hate nobody, really. You don't hate yeah, nobody? I was going to say, I feel like... You know what's funny? I don't get that from you. No, I dislike people with a passion. Yo, okay, so who do you dislike with a passion? I hate. Dislike, that's what, so... Funny. Okay, what do you dislike with a passion? <laughs> like, what I dislike? What attribute in people makes you dislike them with a passion? People that's not loyal. Not loyal. Okay, yeah. what consists of loyalty? Someone that really will, like, even when times get tough, they'll be on your side. Why that would you is, want that? Huh? That is definitely how I know you grew up in it, because that matters a lot to and, dudes who yeah. come from a certain environment. Mm -hmm. yeah. I get it. And loyalty to me is actually still important. It doesn't have to be like, yo, you going to shoot for me type nah, shit. I'm not but, talking about that. You don't got to be street to be loyal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just when it comes down to the wire, bro. Are you, I always are you thought that as a you, kid, that I had to be street to be loyal. I never I thought that. Nah, I, I grew nah. out of it, obviously. But like, a, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah. I thought I had to like bang. Loyalty, lo loyalty is like... Is like People are like, hey, why are you friends yeah, with Dylan? Like this, I'm just this, like, this age, he's a good kid. He's this, a good era, kid. He this, works hard. He's you know. This era don't think snitching is wrong. I don't fuck with that. I, uh, I snitching is wrong if you if you did something that you're guilty for and then you told on everyone else to fuck it up. Nah, the whole by the whole breakdown of snitching is you was doing the crime with that person. That's what I'm saying. And when That's time snitching. and when time gets hard, when the cops come and you tell, yeah, I think yeah. it's wrong. If you shot me though, I am I'm identifying you. Oh, I you get, get what that. I'm saying. Some nah. people was on like somebody kill your mom. Is that snitching? Like, is that snitching? Like, is that snitching? No, like, uh, like if, is that snitching no, if snitching. you're sure. if like you're if you're on the other end of at one it? point, Cameron was saying that like I'm not going to snitch. Someone shot me. He's like, yo, bro, I, are you crazy? All right, are you, you crazy? I mean? Like that. Well, Cameron did worse. He actually told yo Jay somebody threw up the rock sign when they shot me. So that's oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, Nas and Jay Z did a whole interview about it. Allegedly, he got Dave said he got shot over paid in full movie. I don't know what. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The game was in paid in full. He was supposed to go to Harvey he Weinstein's the game? company. He said the game said that. No, Dame. Oh, Dame, Dame Dash said uh, that he got shot over that movie. Is what he got shot over. But I don't know. If that's true. I heard Harvey. <coughs> you good over there, fam? AIDS. Okay. <laughs> No. So it sounds like when DC comes, <laughs> the fourth time, and a little bit, yeah, <laughs> a little bit. He'll be coming. What are like you gonna say, bro? Me. Just a little Sorry. bit. Plays every time he shits. All right. Are we losing? No longer Kev? waiting for Harvey. <laughs> <laughs> no waiting. Waiting. Over. He gave up on that. It's over. He's gonna die before he says it. <laughs> but yeah, loyalty. I know. I feel is Harvey Weinstein injecting you with death right now from his cell? But it's even crazy. just on like an entertainer level, it's hard to find. You know, and I'm not looking. I'm not like I'm not, a, saying I'm not a high loyal. maintenance friend, no, so you I'm don't need to be like loyal to the. You no, know, I ain't just saying loyal either. when it counts, bro. I'm just you know saying, I mean? be down when it when the times get exactly, tough. exactly when it That's counts, it. when it counts, when it counts. I'm, I'm loyalty to a default. Yeah, but don't don't be that person either. No, I'm not that. person. Don't be that person either, because you. I've seen people grow out of that or be that, and it fucks them up. Because yeah, you're a good person, mm -hmm. but you will let someone else use that to exactly put you at fault for it, and it's just like nah, don't don't do that. Have you lost a friend to that kind of uh, disloyal to two uh, disloyalty? Of course, a friend. I've lost multiple friends. Multiple friends. So how yeah. do you end that relationship? You just cut them off. You ghost. I'm them? one of the people that that will leave you in a second. It's over. Once you do one bad thing, now I feel like I can't trust you. I'm out. Mm. I'm out. Like Any family members like that? Yeah, probably. you're like, nah, chill. I, I mean, I, I've never like looked. I've always looked at like my my real family, and I'm like, those are just. What constitutes right. um, breaking off uh, loyalty? Like, what? Give yeah, me like an like, offense. Give me like a just a no. It has no. to be deep. Cause Cause I, it can be sometimes deep. I'll be like, am I yeah. being dramatic? Not like you. It, you, it gotta be. You deep. really gotta violate. And I'm like, not saying it gotta be violent. like. I don't want to get into thing. like. Yeah, I don't want. Yeah, again, I'm just saying like, let's say something. Even even with the mild shit. Not well, yesterday. I'm talking about like when mm -hmm. the the agent shit mm -hmm. and everybody was shitting on them for getting people cold. I was like, I was there that day. I didn't get no COVID, so I can't really say it was him. I rode to when everybody hated the nigga. I was still there the whole time. Mm -hmm. Of course, yeah. I yeah. ran into him randomly a lot. I was still, I, uh, but uh, that's the part of me where I'm just like. That type of shit. If I know someone and some type of rumor, whatever comes out, if I know mm -hmm. them, there is no. Can I'm gonna stay me, away from this can't person. Tell me about somebody I'm close to. That, yeah, that shit is corny. Exactly. Yeah. But I will it, say, uh, Dave Temple one time told me a story. There apparently there was a, a comedy club down south. I don't know which one. Mm -hmm. The a delivery driver. Uh, some kid was there. They got into an argument. They were outside the parking lot. The kid ended up getting shot and Jeez. killed. 
They took the um, is this owner. A story that was said on a podcast before? Um, I think it's said out there, but I don't have any details. Okay. Okay, okay. What were you going to say? I, I was going to say, but the, what, 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 made, what intrigued me was, mm-hmm. it was, um, by the way, it was uh, the dude was fine. It wasn't like brought to jail or whatever. Okay. It was on his property. They entered an argument, but he had to leave the comedy community. And his partner one time, Dave was like, "Yo, can I do some shows?" Because you know? he shot someone. Because he shot someone. But but no one asked. See, so I like what you're doing. No one really yeah. asked questions. So what I'm trying to say is, when Dave is, I feel like so smart because he's the one person to go. He talked to the guy, and like they're like white guys, and he just goes. So what's going on with him? Like, what's yeah. go, like what's going on with everything? Yeah. He goes, "Oh, I don't talk to that guy at all." He goes, the second everything went down, like I cut um, all ties. That's mm-hmm. the th- that's the part of and comedy. that's where it's interesting. Where it's like that's what you're kind of talking about. Where there's, it's like there's a some lot people of don't want to ask. I don't some like some people that. don't even ask like questions. Yes, like mm-hmm. you know, at least like with the mild shit. I remember calling these fuckers and going like. I mean, it's probably not that serious. Like, there's two sides to every story. Da, 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 I ran into Moss. He was like, bro, people are trying to cancel me. And I was like, So that's like a big thing with loyalty. So many people are so quick to be like, it's like a hot, like a hot plate. Like, mm-hmm. It's like, bro, just sit there for a second. You're good. Yeah, bro. If, if there is no, for me, it's like rumors are rumors. If you don't fuck children, you know what Jesus, I'm saying? If you don't fuck children, if you jump. don't rape, then there, there's no, like, shot somebody. Yeah. If you come from a certain environment, you know things oh, happen. <laughs> You can. I've seen people Raven used to real the, life the, beef with each other, would shoot at each other, who are now friends. And now, you know what I mean? I had a dude in high school who was good friends with me who broke into my house and stole a TV. Mm. You get what I'm saying? So, and we, and years later, after um, after I got into a fight with his little brother, my brother slapped the shit out of his older brother and all this shit. A couple of years later, we don't even really give a fuck about it. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's, you know, I, I you still hang year, out with him? No, no, I don't hang out. But, but everyone, everyone's like, older. We, we don't got beef, though. That was high school. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we don't got beef. Yeah, yeah, we record you. Exactly. Yeah, well, so what, what I'm saying is. Yeah, but what, like, what, what the thing is, what's funny is, has, has that guy been over your house? But no, guys, we're not no, going to no, be that close. No, that's what I'm trying to. No, no, but I'm saying is. Even in like a social setting or whatever, you'll be like, "Yeah, we're cool, bro. What's up, bro?" It got. But I'll never be like the fr- like if I'm smoking a joint. Like, hey, if I'm smoking a joint, I, if I if I roll the joint at the stand comedy club, mm-hmm. just roll the joint downstairs. I'm walking mm-hmm. upstairs. I see you, you, you sitting on a table. What do I do? Boys, I'm smoking outside. Come chill. Yeah. You're not pointing to him. I feel you. I feel you. And yeah, going yeah. like, "Yo, come chill." Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's like even loyalty. I feel like again, I, again, especially with comedy, loyalty even goes to like small things where it's like, "Hey, man, even like the small fuckery yeah. shit." But you a lot do, of people don't, and I feel like people in that be my comedy smoke community mm-hmm. should have asked the guy what happened that night that made you pull the gun out. Yeah. Because like, you can't act like, "Oh my god!" Like, if, like violence happens. You yep. can't just believe this is a comedy. I mean, this community. is America, dog. Yeah, this is America. Like violence. things happen, bro. I've seen my auntie try to stab someone with a screwdriver when I was a mm-hmm. kid. Like things happen, bro. So it's just like if you're just gonna be like, "I cut all." Ties. And it's just like, bro. Like you're just just the kind you gotta of ask questions. I don't. Yeah. I have a pro- I have. I kind of have abandonment issues myself, but I have a problem PTSD. with leave, feeling like I'm leaving people hanging in a way, Ooh. dude. So I just dealt with that recently. I was fucking around with someone, and as I about a hundred percent have abandonment issues. I've come to terms with that immediately. I know for you're a fact, bitch. I do, no, and, <laughs> I don't know. I think but, it's easier from not no, knowing my pops. But I realized. Is, but, I but I realized whenever I'm so empathetic, where if I start doing something to someone else, and I'm like, fuck, I know that feeling. Like yeah. I know that feeling of feeling you abandoned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, bro, I can't do this anymore. Yeah, so yeah, I, yeah. I know how much that like hurts me. Yeah, it's hard. Can I can't do it to somebody. Else. So you so feel like bad when you see like the the pet dog shelter commercials? But like, damn, I know that feeling. Are you saying you don't? No. Maybe don't say that out on a podcast. The pet, I don't feel I don't bad. Bad. You can lie. I don't make a lot more. Bad. You feel bad for those commercials? I don't. Know if I feel bad, but. Dude, wait, oh, wait, wait, white okay. people, bro. No, no, wait, wait. White people, bro. How do you feel about the commercials with the af- starving children in, feel, in Philippines? There you go. I, I cry. You, I cry. You cry. Put one, one on right now. I'll cry. I'll cry. Put one on right now. Put one really? on right now. Who gives a fuck about a dog? Touches your heart, makes you cry. Now, when I first saw that shit, I was not expecting it. With the dog. Yeah, I didn't, when, I, when, I, when, that, when that commercial first popped up, call the ASPCA or whatever. Oh. Hit me up. So give me shit. Like, you know how much I laugh at you the Life Alert commercials. Uh, Patrice, that Life Alert commercial is so fucking funny. Patrice O'Neill has a so bit about those funny. commercials, and to the point where my five and six year old nieces and nephews know it because they're my older brother, who's actually dope. hilarious. He just watches a lot of. I always watch a lot of comedy growing sure. up, and the bit was about. Like he's talking about how like you could they be looking savage, right? Yeah. And the song would just be some shit like this is what he Petri says. There's a pencil sticking out of his face. <laughs> 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 just, it's only like, nothing to do with what's going on. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. He's just like yeah. you're just like what the fuck, bro. But those commercials are like that though. Miserable I was fun. watching a uh, a documentary, a uh, different one yesterday. I'm trying to remember what it was, but dude, you ever just watch something and the music does not sing? Like ex- yeah, exactly course, that. Like where. 
The music got a hit when you like, watch the song. Dude, I was laughing my ass. I was like, yo, someone's definitely doing a favorite right now. Mm-hmm. Man, I was like, yeah. this, is, this is a nobody. It was like... Sound editor. I'm trying to think. It was like... not. It was like a murder doc. Mm-hmm. And then it was also kind of like... Not romantic, but there was like, you know, like a good part, whatever. But then at one point they'd be like... <laughs> He took her on a date for No, no, no. But like, <laughs> then it flashes to the black and white tongue, and then his yeah, face is like a breath. Even weirder. Even weirder. Weird. They'd, be like, they'd be like, you know, we, we had, never we knew had, we were going to do that. No, they'd be like, you know, and we had no leads. We had no idea what, what, what we were going to do. I had no idea where my husband was. And then finally the police called, and they said they found a foot. Hilarious. And I never thought I'd see you again. Real. The lyrics, though? I thought it would just be like an instrumental. When I loved you, it was always the end. It was like, who like, sings that song? Bro, it was he, just he like, it was, bro, no, it was some right chick, now. and it oh. was like gu- solo guitar, her singing about love, and mm-hmm. I was like, this does not fit, dude. This who, is not. Who sings that song this- again? That- I can see it for you. Want me to sing it? Hey, it was, I don't know. How, how are you not a lead girl? singer with like a pink guitar, bro? Like you, know he had, you know you had that face. You know you had that face. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I feel like ripped we talked about shirts, that before. The ripped off shirts. And shit. Last, Lawrence, when's the last time you cried? <laughs> when's the last time I cried? <laughs> when's the last time you cried? <laughs> I can't remember. I can't remember. You know, no. Where I'm making a new drop. <laughs> bro. Hot takes with Kev. Every time he goes, that's not even hot take. That's hot take with Kev. Bro. Yes. No, that's just a new question that we ask every guest, apparently. Yeah. Apparently. Are you on, you're in on this too? This is not no, the we, first time they've had this conversation. Oh, wow. is, is no, you cry, dude. I don't remember. Can we make every you guest remember? do a day in no. a life? <laughs> also, day that was life? fun. Cool. Make every guest do a day oh, in a life. So military of it. Lawrence, 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 I'm addressing right. you. <laughs> the last crazy. time you cried, boy. That is what it is. Like, who are you, nigga? It's By so the way, I don't, I don't mind that you dick. do that. It does sound so military. I always think, and then I've. The rebellion part. He of talks me. so abrupt. It's so. The it is really the, the little kid rebellious who like hates. Hold up! Hold up! Hold up! Yeah, I, like, 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 I just want to start like fucking around. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Huh, huh. Everybody, huh? <laughs> it's <like> your blood. <laughs> <laughs> Changes his tone, daytime tone. Lawrence. 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 Lawrence, you ever got your nipple sucked? What? The no, I'm kidding. Doesn't that shit, doesn't that shit make you I feel very vulnerable? No, no, no. Oh, you got a lip? Yeah. They like to do that because they mm-hmm. they like to watch you wince like a little I mean, bitch. I want to let never, them do you, it. You're no more vulnerable, like, vulnerable as peak is when you after you nut. Yeah, nah. Yeah, they but can do dude, whatever if they you're want. You're standing to there. Nah, I don't like that. Bro, shit. if a chick is on top of you, <laughs> I don't like when I'm not kissing. Get off of me. <laughs> when the chick is on top, I feel that. When the chick is on top, you, you only nut like, when, you, when she's on top. <laughs> you only you only nut when she's on top. No, no. I, what? No. You said get off of me. Oh, off me. Like nigga, you don't nut. You don't know. Honestly, when I when I'm in missionary, it's hard for me to nut at this point in my life. I, yeah, That's the I easiest mean, position to nut then. Nah. nah, I feel like you gotta like the chick sometimes. Yeah, I mean, the missionary is her riding you, right? Yeah. I mean, I, if you, <laughs> no. stupid. I'm only doggy style and bitches <laughs> out there. Like, Maybe not. That's what I mean. Yeah. Like, if you really want to nut, you're like, oh, let's turn mm-hmm. it back way, do the bitch. back shots or something. But it like, reminds me of mistakes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's I don't know. What'd you say? It reminds me of mistakes when you look at a bitch, you don't like. like, like <laughs> 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 it reminds me of mistakes. Like you, really? This guy. I'm literally fucking a mistake. Insane. I'm really making a fucking mistake. <laughs> I remember one moment uh, I was fucking this girl and the office was on. <laughs> I was like, this shit better. <laughs> Bro, who hasn't fucked to these niggas? Said this is better. This He's wild. The white really yeah. 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 I have. A, I, have, I, have a, I haven't seen that Jim Price. Yeah, I ain't seen that one. I have a video in my phone of uh, Malcolm Play. I have a video in my phone of a girl. Of a girl uh, sucking my dick and archers in the background. It's and wild I s- to say that when we know who your girl is. <laughs> no, 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 no. It okay. might not be the one. Okay. okay. He, 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 the deck is stacked. It's okay. not. <laughs> right, I've had girls. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Some, like, like, I'm not, I didn't just get into a relationship. Like, black the first people time don't call them young deal for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> what black person calls them that? Yeah, it's mostly just white people. Is it just white people? Yeah. Love yeah. that, bro. No, but you don't call them young deal. I know. It's mostly just Dylan that calls himself. He looks in the mirror every day like your young. Deal, you got this. Yeah, no. Young, young deal, we gonna kill it. I started with Dill when I first met you him, have but it sauce. wasn't like original like, or anything. What? Young Dilly, pick a Dill. All right, it's only five stop. letters. You don't have to add nothing to it. Yeah, <laughs> he's oh, making yeah. it longer. Dillard. Young Dilly, Dilly, Dilly. Actually, <laughs> yo, if you were in Jamaica, they'll call you Dylan. Dylan, Dylan, Dylan. I was in, I was in Jamaica. Here you go, Dylan. I go, come here. Dylan, 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 Dylan. Wait, wait, wait. Who's the top five rappers? Dylan, Dylan, Dylan. See, we too close, man. You remember when you started choking? We know the joke. Poof. We know the joke. That was a good episode. We know the joke. We know that the was a joke. good episode. You too close, man. <laughs> so you don't remember the last time you cried? You. No, I really don't. Why? What do you mean, why? Did you block it out? Thugs no. don't cry. No, thugs cry. Thugs cry. Yeah. Wait, real quick, serious question. No, you said thugs. your pops. You said free your pops. Your pops in jail? Yes, he's in prison right now. Since when? Uh, like seven years. Seven. Oh, so it's pretty recent. Yeah. You grew up with your pops. Yeah. I didn't. 
So my pops was in Rikers, but I you trying I, to connect with me right now? Yeah, yeah. No, I'm, no, like, I'm trying to, I, I feel you. I'm brother. trying to out black you. You were like your dad went to jail. I never met him, and he was in jail. Who said that? Um, I said I, I never. Oh, met you never met him. Yeah, I never met him, but he was in jail for a little bit in Rikers though. Yeah, okay, yeah, and I never seen him. So he's Damn. a snitch. Never, so no, like, he's in. You know, he's in jail. Like he's never seen his pops ever. No, I'm kidding, buddy. Yeah, I've never seen. Never seen. He, never. He, he mad. Life. He ain't got no parents. <laughs> Yeah. Like, so your dad too, huh? Yeah. You know, actually, you know what's crazy? <laughs> Technically, he has more parents than all of us. Right. And at the same time, still the least amount of parents has, than us. Yeah, yeah. more yeah. parents but less love. There's more parents. <laughs> less love. No, he, he has yeah. four parents. None of them gay. Huh? None of them gay. My older brother's gay. <laughs> not only your parents. Four parents, one caregiver. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. it's fun. That's wild. Why wow. would they be gay? Parenting is so fun. You can have two parents and be gay. Your parents can be gay. What? We, we, you we, have one your thought process? He said four parents. I was like, oh no, no, he has. Uh, he's adopted. He's adopted. Mm -hmm. well, by what type of family? Dominican? No. What? Puerto Ricans. Really? Puerto Rican family, yeah. A Dominican. And I a hate Puerto when he Rican said house. like it was such a. Uh, big no, right? Yeah, yeah, Puerto yeah. Ricans adopted a Puerto Rican. No, Dominican. A Dominican, adopted. which is crazy because they think yeah. they're better than. Yeah, Dominican. that's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it does because they. That's every race. You ever ask your mom that? Like, why Dominican? Like why? Like was it just? He like, was the lighter skin. She he was, was a. She was a no. <laughs> <laughs> she, she was trying to get a bag, that government bag. <laughs> yeah, there's a little bit of that, I think. Uh, but she was a foster parent for a while. Yeah, yeah. that's crazy to be adopted. I used to, I, I lived with a them. lady that used to foster people. Oh wait, can I can I bring up uh, your living <laughs> situation? Like you're back, you're back. I'm back in East Harlem. Can I? He's back home. You told home. me, he's you back. told me, but no, you said you moved to the Bronx anyway. But I asked you, I go, you had a good job. I go, does it feel good? Like in a weird way, does it feel good to be back? You said yes. Say it again. I said, I asked you the other day, I go, does it feel good to be back? And you said, yeah. It, it feels good to be back because I realized my mom's 80. Yeah, and it, oh, so a couple you, you want to watch it and shit like that. And I just realized, oh, man, I, I've just wasted mad years. Now, we get to mad years. when your parents are old. Yeah. Say again? You, you get to some ages when you're fine. That's like how I feel right old. now. Like, my hey, mom's getting Hey, you guys got to stop cutting each other. Like, he was talking. And yeah. Then, and then it's, like, just... it's like I'm trying to watch a fucking movie right mm -hmm. now. Yeah, yeah, This is like. What day did you realize your parents was old? Like, like, of. Few weeks ago, I just got really. You just it just hit you. <laughs> yeah, it just hit me. I found out yes, when my when I looked on my my mom's table and saw an AARP card. I was like, <laughs> I was like, Yo, mom, it's over, nigga. Yo, mom, Yo. you falling? It's <laughs> over, son. Bob, you fell. Yo. Yo. Get you some life Yo. alert. Yo, can I tell you something that? Uh, <laughs> and I'm happy this is buried in the episode. Give me some eye hop. <laughs> <laughs> by the way, also, uh, I know. By the way, I know how to get my mom to stop listening to Doped Up. If we ever do a segment yeah, about, just, just your voice. if we ever do a segment yeah. about sex she or whatever, your voice, you stop listening. <laughs> my mom yeah she's like even I can't take it it's <laughs> <laughs> a good dig damn Vicky <laughs> I raised this I know your pops doesn't listen to this shit at all though there's no yo, way yo, it reminds, does he? It reminds yo, him of a yo, mistake y'all wanna hear um Bro, hey, two things. My mom does listen to the podcast. Yeah. She does, but she'll stop it. She texted me the other day. She goes, When I tried listening to the Roaches episode, it sounded so fun. The second you guys started talking about sex and all that. Too icky for me. Makes her really? And yeah, yeah, my mom. Oh, so she definitely what? listens to the podcast. You got some type of No, I said it makes so her So she's definitely not listening to this episode, is what I'm going to say. Yeah. Wow. Dude, my, you said my pops doesn't listen to the show. I can he imagine. Absolutely doesn't. <laughs> I uh, I called my dad night. the other day just like to call him out of the blue. He calls me later that day. It's at like night. I go, What's up, man? And I can hear like music and clinking in the background and like glasses and like shit going. He goes, On a Stairmaster? And, oh, yeah, he's doing, he's doing this shit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm doing gotta this. Get some goots. Gotta get some goots. But no, no, but no, he's like, He's at like a dinner. Whatever, okay, yeah, yeah. and my dad is just a talkative, talks to every waitress, yeah, his yeah. sister, probably just crazy. Like, yo, yo, Dylan, guess who's not here? You. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, my dad does like weird shit. He doesn't listen to the podcast, but but he goes. Congrats on it, though. He goes. <laughs> he go, he'll call me. Yeah. He goes, Yo, what's up, man? Yo, what's up? He goes, uh, uh, I'm, I'm just. I'm, uh, yeah. Well, it's not. Yeah, kind of. Actually, yeah. But that's not how his dad yeah. sounds. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. no, it's weird. My dad has very like my dad in the daytime. Sorry, God, it's my dad in the daytime. <laughs> Hello. Down. Yeah. What's up? Work for you. Okay. All right. Make it quick. <laughs> All right. And then at nighttime, dinner time, he goes, What? So what is she doing? Yeah, like, a couple of nightcaps. And yeah, and not, not even, my dad doesn't drink like that. Oh, no, no, no. Wow. Sober. Stone sober. I've only He's ever sober? seen my dad drink one fucking really? beer. My dad was drunk one time in front of me. Hilarious. We still talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's still one of those things. There's nothing funny seeing your parents drunk. Yeah, well, when it was at the dinner table, well, oh, remember that one time, yeah. Shlomi couldn't, he had two beers. Yeah. And two beers. I know my dad, but it's the weird though? part. Yeah. My dad calls me and goes, he goes, yo, what's up? I go, what up? And he goes, I'm sitting at, I'm sitting at this dinner. Uh, I'm talking to this other uh, waitress. I'm telling her all about you. I'm telling her about the podcast. Uh, she just subscribed on YouTube. Mm, hell uh, yeah, I just dad. got a, uh, what's your Instagram again? She got your Instagram, so she's going to follow you. Message her. Uh, what's your, uh, uh, get over here. 
uh, hell yeah, hello? Shlomi. Hell yeah, Shlomi. <laughs> hello? Fans, yeah. And fans. I'm like, uh, uh, hello? That's mad weird. And, and, and by the way, uh, I'm like, sitting on the couch, tell him your name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, um, I'm just like talking to this chick, and I'm like, all right, I'm like, all right. And to be real with you, I was like, I did not do a good job of sealing that deal. Uh, yeah, I know what you mean. And I think Didn't my dad must have, yeah. my dad must have put in extra legwork because she followed me. Do you shit. think that he thought that she was cute and you would like her? That's why he sent it. Oh. Uh, by the way, I just thought it was. By like, the way, like, banging. <laughs> Yo, your dad is good. Dad, bro, is that, dad, 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 know what you like? You like, you like yeah. him? Like, I don't like him. Right? Yo, when yeah. your dad That's gets wild. Out, no, you're like, tired of him bragging about his dad, though. No, no, no. no, yeah. no. I, I was. Yo, this is. <laughs> yo, I love this. I have a, I have a hater, but also a lover. <laughs> I'm he's not a hater. hater. I'm not a chill, hater. Bro. Bro. He's he's chill. Chill. Like, I'm not a hater. Lauren actually seems like he's high all the time, even though he's not. I'm very high all the time. When you're smoking in the morning, sorry. Daily routine. No, you don't see it. Daily routine. I smoke when I wake up. I smoke when I feel like it. Oh. That's okay. better. I'm in control of myself. I yeah. Like yeah. I don't need no drugs to live. That's good. That's good. No, but that's weird. My, my dad doesn't. I don't think my dad listens or watches anything I do. Yeah. But I don't is. want my mom to watch his podcast. Well, I know my dad doesn't. Not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh hell no. We've like really no. said some wild shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. She uh, doesn't love you. I'll... <laughs> Really, you said that? <laughs> yeah, it's I, so wild the things that, that we say. Like she doesn't get you birthday gifts or any gifts at all. Saying it again, but I, I don't. But it again. that's not even the part of what <laughs> my mom has a sense of episode. humor. My mom's a funny, funny lady. But she let. But yeah, the other stuff, shit. it's like all the other. I, I come when I shit and chicks oh, and yeah. you know what I mean. All the like the, the vulgar shit. My mom can't stand shit like that. So yeah, she, course, yeah, she, she wouldn't yeah, watch it. Uh, yeah. Also, by the way, I mean, like, I don't parents, think. Yeah, I don't think I could hear my son. Like I don't want to know. I that. would because I want to laugh at no, my I son. I want to know. Bro, oh, yeah, yeah. I, I want to laugh at my son. My can I go back? My daughter, this, like guys, like, like you know. Can oh. I go back to this Netflix documentary real quick of this dude inseminating? Because can I tell you, I was joking like the uh-huh. first fifteen minutes, just like out loud saying little jokes of like this dude rules, just like being yeah. a dick. Yeah, yeah. Edge Lord, bro. At one point, he was a gynecologist and or and did the artificial insemination. For one of his daughters that he, he did, that he put no, into. No, it was his, and it was his seed. And they, they didn't even know. He went to the house, was like, hey, can I just like see the baby, make sure they're okay? That's the right face to be making. You see how diabolical testosterone could get? Like, that's you crazy. Think that's a testosterone. Bro, bro, that's only a man can think wait, of that. Thank you. Wait, wait, you wait, get wait, what I'm saying? Keep, keep, For real. Keep that thought. They went to a couple. <laughs> I didn't even know. They're the only Jewish couple in the entire thing. I didn't even know this because he's super Christian, by the way. Yeah, yeah. They were friends with him. Just all his entire life, they're like, oh, he was a little, always like a little weird, had arthritis. Then he fixed it. He was always da 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 da. da. <laughs> but he, they, they were the only couple. Every other person was just a male or a, uh, a male female mm-hmm. telling the story. They were the only people that did it together. And when I tell you, the girl was like, you know, and I always thought he was a little bit of a monster. Okay. It cuts to the dude, and he goes, I mean, uh, I wouldn't say that. He was always a smart guy. And then or later in the thing, kind of my hero actually. No, no, yeah. So, yeah. none of the dudes. At, Ever in there, except for the two the gay guys that were his sons that were like, he's a monster. They were all like, I mean, he's a smart guy, whatever, whatever. They just like, they had like, they understood it in a weird way. And later in the show, that the, his wife ends up, they had a kid because of him. And he, Was he? And he did it because of the doctor. Uh, but the wife goes, well, my husband wasn't able to give me the semen. So, I mean, yeah, yeah what he so did was I'm wrong, but I still, I still yeah. got what I needed. And dude, watching the guy, like when they cut to his face, and he's just like, dude, he doesn't care. Does that make sense? And I want to get into the testosterone where it's like, testosterone makes, is a crazy drug. Let's just call it a drug. Women don't understand that. Because I was watching it with a woman, and she was like, obviously what this dude did was wrong. I'm not saying that. Like, to put your... What I, what I wanted what to ask was you wrong, real quick, though. But women are like, they couldn't even fathom that any guy like wouldn't... Care. Because their shit is inv- that's invasive. It is. Isn't, it's yeah. absolutely it is. invasive. It's a violation. But okay. what I'm gonna say was he supposed to be running a fertility clinic? Yes, he was the head doctor. Now and he decided instead of investing in other people's sperm, I'm gonna just use my <laughs> own like a fucking startup. Like, he, are you saying what that's, I think you're saying? That, right now? Like, did he Mo? put he put up his own sperm? Was like, fuck it, I'm gonna cut cost, use my own sperm. Instead of like, that's what the I was saying. Like, what? Yeah, you see, yeah, do you see out. what testosterone yeah, is doing yeah, to your brain? Yeah. How you're logically thinking? No, no, I, I don't think he's a good person though. But I'm thinking to myself, not. I'm like, that's it's what happened. Really he was like, I'm gonna start a fertility clinic, but I'm gonna just use my sperm. Wait, and also, fucking, can I, also can like, I, he was probably like coming when he was shitting. <laughs> 
And he doesn't have all this extra sperm Are you to saying go what around. I think you're saying? Is it DC? DC, is your father? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, is your dad bro. from India? Are you half white? Are you the one and only? No, bro. Irish. Irish is in my blood, but I'm no, not listen, half listen, They got to the end of the doc, and it ends up being like, I don't want to spoil it. It ends up being like little racist. It's a and like, yeah, it's like, no, it's like, it's like it racist already. and whatever. <laughs> but at the end of the day, it was just interesting watching because the, the, the girl that ended up taking him down right, right. was just his daughter. Oh, he took it down because that's the ultimate. He inseminated his daughter. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no. By the way, no, no. that was. Yeah, the sweetie, by the I way, got you. Yeah, <laughs> that, uh, I did start that with this. <laughs> he did do that. That was a different girl. Okay. The huh. the one girl that has been at the head of taking all of him down. Like, she the head. Huh? Lit, 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 literally, this is a real thing. All the other people were like, I did an ancestry test. I saw that I had way too many cousins, and then I immediately got a call from someone, and it's her. She literally has like a notification. She calls him and was like, has like a script of like, hey, uh, by the way, uh, did your parents have a problem uh, with insemination? They probably did. Do- Dr. Klein, we're all, we're all his kids. This is what he did. And she does this for all of them. What I'm trying to say is, it is weird because her father, so he did a lot of fucked up things of like, people gave him semen, and then he chose to use his own. <laughs> That's very so obviously it was this ain't that real shit. Obviously, <laughs> it wasn't him just trying to cut costs. He was a deviant. He no, fucked up. I know. I'm I, we're joking. Yeah, I know. Yeah, no. yeah, what yeah. I'm trying to get to though is what's interesting again is my brain immediately was joking because the girl that took him down, her father could not come. She was gonna get brought into this world no matter what by someone else's semen. Yeah, yeah. And it was interesting to the fact of she was like, Oh, I want to find out who my That's what I'm trying are. to say. How how do you make it a crime? How do you go say There's that? no crime for it? That's what I'm saying. Like you he 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 figured out a creative way to come in women and many women, he felt, you know, obviously, because that's what he was thinking about. It's yeah, fucked up. Let me say that again. He's, he's, he's the OG. He's but the what OG. I'm saying is, you were going to go get some random <laughs> sperm first. anyway. You might not have wanted that guy's Let's genetics. Actually, Natalie, the one woman on the show, has been raising yeah, her hand for the last five that, minutes. Natalie, Natalie obviously, like I said, Natalie, let me say it again. What he did was fucked up. No, what he did was wrong. It's wrong as fuck. But for the, the women that all had a, uh, had a husband that gonna, couldn't come. I was going to make a more technical point. You know how you can only donate sperm like a handful of times? Right. It like fucks up the population. Pool. That's what he said. Yo, so by the way, in this small town of Indiana, they show that. Some of them live like 0. 0.2 miles. So that, Yeah, there's going to be like a major they, That's what they got problem. into. They, yeah, they, were, they were like, yeah. I'm walking down the park. Like, I have to figure out who. Yeah. They were like. But also who, leave Indiana. Yeah, no, that's a By good point. That's what I mean. That's a good way, point. Also, Go another big I mean, why point. would you live in Indiana? Why would you want to live you, there? Because Michael Jackson's from there. But, but I think uh, he did. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he was also the most famous. And you know what he did? Freddie Gibbs. And you know what he did? You know what the Jacksons did? Yeah. What did they do? Become beat their kids into superstar? Leave. Oh, yeah, they did. Yeah, yeah. Because they had they talent, left. though. You know Dude, I was so scared. You were going to say some wild shit, but that was just a point. In Indiana? Or New York? No. LA? Yeah, he left. He left? From Indiana. Indiana, he's from Gary, Indiana. Why Benny the Butcher was chasing him? Yeah, uh, <laughs> man, it wasn't a chase. They whooped that nigga ass. Gary, but he is. I give it up for Fred Gibbs. He still did like a champ. It took the ass whooping. All right, but uh, I do want to find out. Uh, yeah, DC, can stage, we do? Yeah. I'm, I'm doing this um sperm count test. You're gonna do it soon. I'm gonna do it soon. I, I'm can gonna we, go to the doctor too. I'm gonna but, say, yeah. can we book next to each other? No, no, no. Hold on. Hold chill, my chill, hand, chill, 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 chill. Hold chill. my hand. Who has, stronger, who has the strongest sperm? I'm dead ass. I will find a doctor that can do this, and we'll film it. We'll have DC come out. It has nothing to do with my sperm count. Like the beginning I want to find out, is your gotta... shit sperm able to get a girl pregnant? Whoa. I don't know. I feel oh, like, see, it's interesting, right? I feel like kids are just jumping <laughs> out my body <laughs> like, nigga, get me out this nigga's yeah, nutsack or something. Right? You know what I mean? Like, yeah, your own cum venture a hack? Jamaican, be interesting. It does. Yeah, bro. Like, you know, we're ain't fertile. No Jamaican, we're, we're so, but would you do that? Had a kid. Would, yeah, you, yeah, would, you, would you get your, um, your, would you try to, would you go take a shit in the doctor's office and can we test? I wouldn't have to shit. I'd come. I'd just. No, no, no. I'd go to the doctor and be like, hey, every time I come. boy. Every time I take a shit, I tend to like come a little bit. So like, what? That's the come I want to test you. I want to come. Dagger, 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 that's dagger, the cum. Dagger. You heard this guy? That's the cum. That's the cum I want to use. Dagger, I don't want you dagger, to jack dagger, off. Dagger, dagger. The cum when you take a shit, that's the one. We're going to fig- figure out if it works. It probably does. If big it up, le- big up. Do you get what I'm trying if to say? If it leaps now? out, it works, right? Do you think it's like, is it pre cum? Like can- big up, big up. His dick is a stick up, stick up. Kevin does not want to discuss cum, bro, at all. Bro. Thank God. Big up, big up. Dude, but also, least, though, Kevin, say something. At least we know none of our parents are listening to this. Thank you guys so much for watching. Kevin, we're going to personally count and test DC's cum next week. Wow, that's crazy. That's not gay, right? That sounds wild. That sounds mad gay. What is that sound gay about? You said personally. I'm going to make this the cold open just for your folks. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. Why would, why would that be weird? Speaking of cold, you hear opens, what you just bro. said? What I said? You said you're gonna personally <laughs> count, yeah, you count said, his. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you did say personally. Make that the cold Whoa. open. <laughs> I said you. I can't believe Kev just did that. Really? 
it made me picture that. <laughs> what do you say? Wow. Yeah, he, he, what do you he, say? He, saw he, his he did tough. some physical comedy yeah. and that shit hit me. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> let's, let's, let's end on a Jim but, Carrey bit. What'd you do? Uh, uh, that's just counting <laughs> sperm, dude. Oh, what the right, fuck? Yeah. That's disgusting, bro. <laughs> Ew. So nasty. By the way, the fact that I didn't have to picture that is you're up to 14%. <laughs> And thir- that's why physical comedy is the best. No, I'm just <laughs> Guys, this is Dope Up and Dying, the, the Sunday the morning yeah. smoke yeah, well. show. Yeah, if you guys want to come back, come back every week and listen to Dope Up and Dying every Hell Sunday yeah. at 11 a.m. Guys, everybody. shout out Lawrence Reese for shout being on this Lawrence episode Reese, again. Shout out Lawrence Reese. Lawrence, thank you Appreciate so much for coming it. through. Tell him again where to find you one more time. Outside. <laughs> okay, dope. BX. You guys want to see Lawrence? Find him outside. So from go York, follow bro. our producer, Natty Ice. Go follow DC Rose. Go follow Kevin Sanchez. And follow yours truly. Dylan and follow guys. Doped Up Podcast too More importantly yeah, most Honestly importantly, don't follow man. us Go follow Doped Up Guys keep yeah, supporting man. Doped Up Thank you so much Almost at 2k subscribers on YouTube Woo. Go there Guys we'll see you next week Peace Thank you man Thank you guys for listening man